Ryloth. It is a large planet with varying climates. Um, the weather here is strange. It is quite chaotic at times. It is... Um, um, this place has a very complicated interaction between direct uh, sunlight, the five moons that it has, it has a liquid water core, and the fact that the entire planet is tidally locked. One side of it is always facing the sun, the other perpetually in, um, in uh, darkness. Very, um, very, um, Star Wars. Um, the planet wasn't on the screen, so I had to make the planet on the screen. So, <laughs> uh, scrambled everything together today. Enjoy, enjoy this incredible GMing from me, your host, Booster Greg. Your ship, um, comes out of hyperspace. You're able to navigate your way um, down towards the planet's surface. There's not really any sort of scans or like... Um, there's, too, there's too much going on on this planet for you to do any scans that are going to give you any understanding of whether there's Imperial activity or not. Um, but there's no blockade. You don't see any cruisers. You don't see any... Uh, Star Destroyers or anything like that. Um, your best bet <clears throat> is to not land in the more populated and popular zone of the planet, which is the area between where the um, the side of the planet that is perpetually in sunlight and the side of the planet which is perpetually in darkness meets. There's a, a horizon uh, area and just on the inside of that where the climate is very temperate very nice um, and the um, the heat of the sun isn't quite so intense um, is very popular it's where most of the um, nice parts of Ryloth are and uh, that is where there's going to be any sort of imperial presence um, <clears throat> outside of your knowledge as characters uh, Ryloth is about to become a chaos zone um, in terms of uh, Imperial Civil War takeovers and all that kind of stuff. But at the moment, it's not too bad. However, to ensure that you don't kind of run into any of that, we'll just assume that there was a quick conversation on the flight over that um, not landing on that horizon spot is going to be the best Um idea for you so as to avoid any possible imperial interaction um i think we see you guys bring the star stalker down into a city among uh, a relatively heated zone on the planet it's towards the brighter side of the planet the city here is sun soaked the um local Twi'lek people are living off of the land directly. There's no Imperial presence. You can tell almost immediately. Um, and just for the for the air of as you progress through this, you're almost not it's almost impossible to run into any Imperial presence um, right now in until this I area. Get there. Until I'm going to challenge it. It's actually until I roll a um, a dice. because uh, <laughs> you guys are criminals. And you now have a whole criminal uh, sub game going on, which is known as Obligation. But we'll get to that one day. Um, I don't want to bomb everyone's right, minds right, with right. mechanics. Um, <clears throat> uh, but there is another. There's a there's a couple of behind the scenes mechanics going on, or behind the DM screen mechanics that do that will come into play eventually. Um, the area that you're going into, this kind of um, spaceport surrounded by um, <clears throat> like a town, um, is a, a. There's a few cantinas here. There's a single spaceport. Um, it's a spaceport that doesn't require any codes to land, which is also very useful for you. We will probably have to get into that next time you head out, um, depending on where you go. Uh, at the moment, you're in a stolen vehicle. 
and you have no codes to justify being in it and it's possibly identified and therefore if you gave the codes that come with the thing you're just going to immediately they're going to know who you are um so you'll have to avoid that um uh but you don't there's no hailing or anything like that you just pull in basically like you're pulling up to a 7-eleven um imagine a sort of red tattooing essentially this, yeah, this exactly. area is a bit like that many of the buildings here are built in um red sort of stone however um many twilight homes are carved out from the cliff walls and caves of the area so there are um it's not quite sand it's just kind of, it's more like red stone and cracked rock mesas um canyons and things like that um the area that you're approaching is quite flat but there are uh, hillocks and and mountains and these kind of lollipop shaped uh mountains that kind of come up out of the ground um and while Ryloth, uh, Ryloth is the home of the Twi'leks, the owner of um, this spaceport is Hog Tease, who is a Gran, which is a humanoid with an overly pronounced snout and a trio of eye stalks. And I think I have an image, and if I don't, I'll get one for you. I do. One of these. I'll pull that up ah, on yes. the screen for the people in the chat as well. If you recognize <laughs> these uh, people... And, and just as no another image. sort of mood board for the chat, this is a uh, an image of Ryloth that um, I imagine on these like uh, spear head mesas that sort of uh, poke out of the Ryloth surface. I feel like there's maybe a couple of like moisture farms on top of them and things like that. Almost definitely, yeah. It is red Tatooine for all red intents tattooing. and purposes yeah. um, <clears throat> at the moment. Um, the red pod race and there will be a red pod race uh, cool. today whatever that pod race is called that they always do every year um, this city this point. town this place is called Creedon K-R-I-D-O-N and um, yeah I think before like you guys step off of the ship just a little bit of upkeep um, you've recovered any strain everybody can heal one wound and um uh, the ship has recovered one system strain, which we did um, before the beginning of the stream. I think it still has one system strain, which is the computer strain. Uh, however, the ship itself is falling apart. This thing is covered in holes. It's covered in burns, yeah. scorch marks. It's got part of a droid as a thruster. Um, mm -hmm. There's just. Am I able to have made like a mechanics check while we're traveling? Just to did try to make do sure it? it doesn't. We did one previously last episode, yeah, but I'm not uh, sure how often we get to. Okay, it hasn't been long enough. Uh, it's only okay. been a. It's probably only been a few hours. Um, That's fair. As you uh, traveled across the um, sectors to Ryloth, um, and uh, yeah, you can see that the there is this um, uh, this grand individual moving towards you oddly even in this in the heat that will hit you as soon as the uh doors to your starship are open it's that getting off of a flight in miami feeling when you get hit by that wall of um humidity humidity you um you notice that this I'm individual this grand he's quite large he's quite tall he's over six foot tall and he's also quite stocky and well built um, he's wearing these uh, th furs. He's wearing like thick furs as he walks towards you and he's holding two data pads in one arm, flipping between them, hitting buttons. You can see that the spaceport is not exceptionally busy, um, but there are workers and droids for the most part scurrying across the spaceport around um, where you guys are. And um, yeah, this guy's like clearly heading towards your ship, but you have a few minutes to prepare yourselves and uh you know uh chat or you know figure out what you're gonna do uh, someone's coming <laughs> sort of peering through the window there's um someone's approaching the ship um probably some sort of dark master or something what are we yeah, gonna say like good question um are we safe here should be fine Right. Well, it's too late now. I'm right while we're here. Yeah, yeah. It's better than where we came from. 
We're just going to ask for repairs, but what do we say when, if they ask what happened? Um, traveling salespeople. But what happened to the ship? Uh, they didn't I like the goods. All right. right. Okay. I'm not sure if it's their business, really. I mean, their business well, is it their isn't, own. but just in case they ask, I don't want right. all of us answering something different. Right. All right. That's fair. But I, I think being honest that, you know, maybe somebody didn't like our wares is good. It's probably. It's like it's probably sort of close good, yeah. to the truth. Yeah. Dax, you see this person approaching, yes? Uh, in the cockpit. Um, which is r right next to you. You don't need to radio me. I just like the radio, sorry. I know, I know you do. Yeah, just I see open you. Up the door, I guess. <laughs> As soon as you do, the uh, the landing uh, ramp comes down and the door comes up and you see this uh, large grand head look around the uh, the doorway and look inside. He um, tucks the data pads in under him and says, um, Hello, the name's Hi. Hog Tease. Welcome to Ryloff. Thank you. He kind of looks in and you see he's, he's kind of immediately being nosy and looking around the interior of your mm -hmm. ship. Uh, he kind of looks each of you over. Um, he says, uh, well, docking here is going to be 10 credits per day. Look at that. Uh, what a deal. And the days are 30 hours long here, my friends. So it's a bargain compared to most worlds. And uh, you don't mind me saying she looks a little banged up. So, uh, if you want me to set the board some repairs. So. Yes. Yeah, um, I'll knock you up a quote right now. He starts hitting buttons on his uh, data pad. Um, would be great. Thank you. All right. Well, you need somewhere to stay, do you? Um, yes. Somewhere to Likely. Um, you ain't going to want to sleep in this if they're banging in it. You know what I mean? Ding, ding, yeah, ding. True. Right. Right. Yes, please. Yeah, I've got the ideal accommodation. It's fair you know, uh, respected travelers like yourselves. He looks you over again. Hey, don't worry about that. You will have a lovely view. A view that will calm and act lay. Yeah, no questions asked. Except for one. Of course. Yes. Right. You let me look after you while you're here. Hey, you come to me, Hog, for anything you want. Would I, would I tell you all? The wonderful yeah. people of Ryloff here take very good care of you're right. weary merchants like ourselves. Merchants, Nothing but is the best. It? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a, there's a glitter to his eye as he yeah. ups the prices on the data pad. <laughs> 10%. Um, Mr. Mm -hmm. Tease, um, I have got a question and a request. Um, um, just this way, and I sort of bring him toward the back, toward the thruster. Um, yeah. In a bit of a pinch, I, we needed to replace a part. Um, is there any way you and your boys could maybe... Um, Remove this thruster bell without damaging the chassis of this once. Holy wumps! Right. Is that droid? Yes. Well, it was. Well, I won't let the boys see that. They won't be too pleased with how you've treated this droid. No, the, the, the rest of it, the, the, the rest of him is inside. Um, I just needed to, uh, we needed to, uh, in, in a quick line of thinking, needed a, a, a replacement part. Uh, so I used the chassis. Um, right, I'm right, sure right. with some uh, some uh, a, uh, some steel brush or something, we could get some of this char off. Yes, okay. and then yep. we can use it. And uh, right, make sure that you don't damage the parts. Yep, careful removal. Okay. Right, thank you. That's all. Any other special care? No, that's really it. Anyone else? Who looks back over anybody else? No, I think. Uh, no, I don't think so. We've run up the bill quite enough, don't you? Okay, okay, let's see here. So let's work out this out for you. We're gonna calculate in. And this is gonna take a little while. And he, he spends now a couple of minutes walking around the ship. You see him entering numbers and things into the data pad. Which a couple of different droids trick? come over and he consults with them and they wander off. Um, eventually, he, he, what? Are they pit droids? The ones with the some of them are the yeah but those the... are very 
very Tatooine native uh, pod racing droids, I think. Um, the um, the native droids. Are these are whatever droids you see in your head. That's what they are. And um, he he uh, comes back around and says, "I'll do you a deal. This is a big job. Uh, honestly, I'm impressed he's flying. And I'm not going to ask you what happened, but I've got an idea." Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold in the price for however long it takes. But the boys are telling me you're looking at five, six days. So, four thousand four hundred credits. Yikes. <laughs> Right. Four thousand. Oh, four thousand. You said four thousand credits. That's right. Mm. Uh, who wants to make the check? For to the check. The well, check to see whether this is a fair price for what he's asking. Um, it'll Would that be... be a deception check. Uh, no, this will be a. Um, <laughs> this would be either a. Um, mm, I suppose I can them. argue um, yeah. knowledge, education, um, I uh, definitely negotiation. Um, underworld. It's not really an underworld check. Um, yeah. Streetwise. He is a kind of. Uh, I'd maybe allow streetwise. Okay. Yeah. If you want. What about so. just mechanics? Mechanics, yeah, I guess so. I don't know if. Yeah, you know what? Could I help with mechanics? Anyone can help if you have a tick, a career, or any points. Oh, right, in the skill they want to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or any um, or any uh, ranks, tick or ranks, uh, you can boost whichever check, whoever wants to do the check, wants to do. My okay. other space game is a triangle have... game, and it's helping is different in that, so I'm constantly, like, sw sw switching gears between how that all works. I have um, two... Yellow, one green, and streetwise. I wonder if anyone has any better up, off of everything that he Brad just listed. I don't have anything that can I, help here except. For I think Dax mechanics, is really good but... at streetwise. Uh, I also I would like, like to walk off of the ship would. and bump Ooh. into him and pick his pocket. <laughs> what? The... Uh, okay. And can. Can we wait for this to check first? Can we figure this part out first? I don't think uh, Dax is really paying much attention to what's happening, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. This uh, could be right. like while I'm you talking guys, about you the can thruster do that bell. Check first if you'd like. Yeah, this could be like while I'm chatting yeah, with him about the whatever. This. And mm -hmm. then if you wanted to sneak in and pick his pocket, then that would make sense. Because I'm like, I already have him like, distracted. Um... Yeah, so let's do. So we're doing Dax's check first, yeah? Okay. Okay. What you want to do? I All mean, right. it's up to you. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you lot want to do. Well, let's okay, do with the first I'm going to try to haggle with this guy in a second, All right. but okay. I'm just waiting to find out how outrageous the price is or yeah. if it's fair. Uh, I can roll streetwise then. Okay, okay, is anyone so, helping him? If anyone with Streetwise that is helping. I have no Streetwise. I cannot help you. I also cannot help you. All right. I can only help if you're doing a, a mechanics check. I'm not check. paying attention. Yeah. So here the we go. Difficulty what a surprise. Is, the difficulty Children is two. And that's. Difficulty two. It. Gotcha. Boop, boop. You could also yeah. use a light. Yeah. You guys have got point. seven right? light we have side shit points. Right, on the light today. side points today. Uh, we constantly be using light side. I'll use a light side point, yeah. Boop. Um, and then what is that? How, how do I? Does that just work on my sheet now? I think it's an upgrade. upgrade. You have to oh, in yeah. upgrade yeah. Signed. on you the left get, side. Got it. Yep, yeah, you get to upgrade the dice. Thank you. Like this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, Holy. incredible. That was. Two successes, Incredible. two fails, met with a bunch of uh, threats, and there's a, there's a lot of dice in there. Like you upgraded it, <laughs> though. 
Um, okay, so that is one advantage. So... <clears throat> is that with the upgrade? Yes. Um, yeah. No successes, no failures, just an advantage. So I'll give you kind of an idea. It, uh, I don't know why you none of you really know this. I mean, I guess, why would you? Um, a new ship of this. Let me tell you how much a Pathfinder is. A Pathfinder, yeah, no, brand new, is 45 grand. And I think that's one of the cheapest, like, four person with weapon uh, and hyperdrive and navy computer ships that you can get. Um, generally speaking, repairs in this system are about 500 ke credits per hull damage. Cool. So this works out at about 400 credits. So it is quite a good deal um, for what it is. Right. Um, I think that's really it. I think that's yeah. really all you get. I'm not going to give you anything specific beyond that or anything that, you, that <laughs> might help you in, in the future to aid that. Then... Uh, Dax, you're going to bump into him. So your check is... Uh, and then Dax happened. And then mm -hmm. and then Dax happens. He didn't get to be annoying enough last night. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to... It doesn't make sense to anyone. Um, uh -huh. Dax in our... Uh, Dax Orkish in our D&D campaign that we play offline uh, was like a dumb dog person and he got his brain back last night, basically. So he doesn't get to be annoying anymore, which means he's going to double character. it. Or Kill his character and roll up a new one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, skull okay. duggery, isn't it? Yes, a skull duggery check. Um, and you're trying to pickpocket this guy. Um, I could I argue for coordination? No. The best no. nation? I don't think so. I don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like pickpocketing is just skullduggery. I will double check right now. Um, since we're all learning, this is so uh, coordination is balance, um, reducing fall damage, uh, getting out of restraints, crawling through stuff, and Skullduggery is picking locks or pickpocketing. Um, identifying mm -hmm. vulnerable aspects of securities. And that's it. So, this is. Uh, this would be a contested perception check, but I don't have stats for this guy. So, um, I'm not going to make him. We're just going to make it a three difficulty. I think he seems like the type that wouldn't be easily pickpocketed right. necessarily. I'm going to use a light side point to upgrade. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll see what happens here. Um, okay, so no success and no <laughs> difficulty. Um, but you did gain an advantage. What are you, first of all, what are you trying to, to steal? What's the, what are you trying to do? Why are you pickpocketing this? Uh, I, I don't. innocent random man. <laughs> I don't even know that. Jedi. I don't think Dax knows. Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> what he's trying to Unreal, dude. Oh, um, he has 20 bucks in his pocket. I, I don't I don't even think Dax really knows what he's after. He, he sort of <laughs> he wants, wants the, sh the, sh the ship right now. <laughs> and he ran into him accidentally and by almost instinct he just sort of fondles the money the money pad. Tried to mm -hmm. tried to get something. Right. Um Okay. Well let's um let's do one thing real quick. Quick. His name yeah, is on like the, I, the coin purse. Maybe I did save it. Um, I think all you do is bump into him. You just don't find a pocket, and he doesn't seem to think you're pickpocketing him. Is what I'll give mm. you the advantage for. So, you know, because that. I trip down the landing ramp. 
yeah, it's just like you knew what you were doing, but he doesn't. Because you fail to pickpocket him, it actually does just look like you bump into him regardless of intent, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but if it was a failure... Or and a threat, yeah, or a failure, it would have been a different yeah. set been of awful, uh, thing. Right. You take mm -hmm. three conflict right. points, though. Okay. Oh, uh, I exit uh, the ship as well. Theft. So that is how... Farming conflict. Works. He is farming conflict, yeah. That's fine. Um, um, yeah, he j you bump okay. into him and he... Oh, sorry, Dad. Sorry, I am, you know, getting on in the years. And he pats his stomach. He says, oh, too many pies. And yeah. um, then you he turns back pal. to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it turns back to you all. Um, uh, I 4, will 000. pull him. I will pull him slightly aside. I'll say, let you guys talk for a second. Um, uh, I understand. Are you pulling aside? The, the, um, the yeah. hog. Mc yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hog. Yes. That guy. Yeah, he's a hog. Um, <clears throat> yes. J R G. Space T E E Z. Mm -hmm. Um. I understand that the price that you quoted is based on you and your team's expertise and experience, but I'm in charge of um, being a good steward of our resources. And as you can kind of tell, we've pretty much lost everything. Is there any flexibility in the price at all? Or perhaps we can explore alternative solutions that would still meet your needs and ours. Maybe some work that you might need. He um, looks you up and down. And yeah, I will roll yeah, negotiation, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. He starts looking at his data pad. Uh, yes, so you would normally um, engage in another contested negotiation versus call check. But again, I didn't give him oh. uh, stats. So um, he is a pretty decent businessman. So I think he's going to be another three difficulty check for you. And so we're going to just okay. do this today. Can I use the um, advantage from Hop in knowing that the a little bit about the ship for a boost? Has he got an advantage that we uh, didn't use? He did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and last attempt, can I argue leadership instead of negotiation? Hmm. I don't think so. Let me check what okay. leadership does. Leadership. This is for when your allies become subject to the effects of fear when acting in a public venue. So that's like to a crowd of a political mm -hmm. nature, for example. And if your underlings have become have fallen to the guile of an opponent, um, whereas negotiation okay. is directly is for exactly what I'm doing, haggling yep. and purchasing goods and stuff. So, yeah, it's negotiation. Um, can I argue charm? <laughs> instead <laughs> no. no negotiation okay 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 i'm just good Ooh, at those that's all three eyes you have right i mean uh -huh. you could try and seduce him or charm him with flattery no, no, and I'd, flirtation and stuff I'd like that if if that's what you were doing like you're, that, you're, you're haggling charm these. isn't always sexual what but yes say. okay i uh, will well i was just listing the things it says in the book uh, um the yeah this is just this for one. the price so okay uh, I will use the light side to upgrade. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. We're yeah. just burning through these right in the beginning. I and love then it. You upgrade on the mm -hmm. left side. Yep. Oh my god! Wow. Brutal. Um, <sighs> two advantages: no successes, no failures. Uh, so here's what it is: it isn't necessarily that you failed or anything. Um, when he was looking you up and down, he was he was taking into account your uh, how you look in terms of ability. Um, ah. You guys are like sixteen. Not many people are actually yeah. looking you up and down in that way. So he's I can't remember how old you guys are, like eighteen, nineteen, something, yeah, whatever. But eighteen-ish, it? Yeah. it says yeah. on my character sheet. Um, yeah. So he um, he kind of looks across you. His eyes land on Hop for a second, and then he looks back and says, "Eh, well, the thing is." With the parts and the oil baths, I've got to keep up. Really, 4,400 is the best I can do. However, there's always work, depending on what you can do. And he looks across each of you again, looks at the blaster on hip, uh, Hop's hip, looks up at the state of the ship, and then says, 
Mm. I'm going to hazard a guess. You are merchants who regularly travel to areas of danger. Well, of course. You gotta go where the, the market dictates. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of you can really fight your way out of a wet paper bag. Uh, you ain't a big beefy trend ocean. Then again, I suppose brains can be quite the uh, combat advantage. We can handle our own in combat. Hmm. I have got one thing what needs doing. And there ain't many it? people that are willing to do it. So maybe uh, how are you with uh, again he looks up at the ship. Uh, maybe not. Driving. Pretty Maybe decent. Yeah. I just answer. Dax has left the ship. Who knows where he has gone? <laughs> Dax is probably, in the area. Dax is probably the murdering younglings right now. <laughs> yep. Based on oh, okay. Dax's motives. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go find the younglings. We just landed. He um he says, uh, you ever you ever sort of had to um, pilot a land speeder? Yeah, I've driven a yeah. land speeder. What about a speeder truck? Speeder truck, no. I'm sure it's not that hard. Is Dax nearby or has he just walked off? No oh, idea. Yeah. I'm just asking so I know if I can call him over or not. Uh, I'm guessing he's not here. Okay. So, okay. Uh, oh, he is here, Jesus. <clears throat> no, I'm not too far. I'm walking away. Not okay. too far. Um, Dax. Dax. Kid. Oh, uh, Dax pops his head back into view. Uh, what? He's got a job, maybe, and I think it just want to check before we accept or decline that we can actually handle it. Can you listen for a second? Sure. Um, it's a piloting job. Land speeder and truck. Is that right? Speeder truck. A speeder yeah. truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, a speeder truck is just a, a truck that looks like a land speeder. Um, they're usually pretty big. Um, a lot of them uh, can be armored um, and stuff like that. But yeah, imagine a, a van. Um, he says, um, eh, well... Ideally, it don't come back looking like that, though. Then again, ideally, I actually get this stuff to my brother. So. Right. Oh, well, the, that that wasn't him. That that was me. So, luckily, you'll have him driving, not me. Right, right. Yeah, well, I've got some stuff that I've got to get over to my brother, Larg. He's in Grillido City. Uh, you ever been here before? No. Right, First okay, time. well, yeah, well, you we'll have directions. Uh, it ain't too far. You just, it's a straight shot across the desert. Yeah, you, you can't really mess it up, but yeah, there's usually uh, yeah, pirates, marauders, you know, and brigands. Would, this, would you say this would be enough for the repairs? A trade, perhaps? I suppose it comes down to this. If you can get it all there in one piece, it will go a very long way. If you can get it all the way there and get the truck back to me without the truck being too messed up, we'll call it evens. 4.4. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, defined uh, not too messed up. He, he, he just gestures towards your ship. <laughs> I mean, it flies. All right. All right. So, we take uh, it. I'm sorry. Let no me No significant this damage. Right. You know, we're not talking nicks or anything that. like that. Dense. Dense is fine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. What's the counter go? Well, the cargo is what we like to call Nanya. Is it none of your business? So you want discretion. You want a skilled driver. You want combat proficient people to take this across the desert and avoid being killed and the cargo being destroyed. And you want to call it even? Yeah, let me look oh. at this. Hold on. And uh, it's a combat equivalent. We have uh, two. And there's four of you. And discretion. And uh, 4,400 credits. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Do you, do you see why we prefer him with his head in the clouds? Yeah. Well, I'll have a word at the chopping bond as well. Get you some rooms when you get back. That way you can uh, put your feet up for a few days while the boys mm -hmm. fix this up. Yeah, great. Thank you. Perfect. See, Ryloth isn't so bad. No, it's love it's it here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do do I know? Uh, do I know who's in charge on the Ryloth? in charge on Ryloth overall? Yeah. Who's in charge of the whole planet? Mm, um, I'd like to speak to Ryloth, please. I want to speak to your manager, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where's Mr. or Mrs. Ryloth? Yeah. So this would be a knowledge skill. Uh, I guess it would be Core Worlds, Law, or hmm. Education, I guess, would all work. This isn't a Core World, is it? This is... Where is Ryloth? Outer Rim. Okay, out of rim. Oh yeah, it's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. We had jumped through the through the Um inner rim. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Instead I'm just gonna I'm gonna say uh look. Uh I've done work like this before, and if you're asking people you just met and I just grab him. I just yank him and I pull him aside. <laughs> I just grab him and I pull him aside. And then Hawk I, jumps in and yeah, then says, uh, then you must be very yeah. trusting and fair yeah, and, and well-respected like, individuals aside. and the kind of people that <clears throat> me and uh, my employees here just want to do business with on a first-time basis and then we'll see how it goes. And it, who knows? Maybe we can build up yeah. some sort of professional yeah, relationship. Hold on one second. Max, I, I asked him for the work because we can't afford the repairs. That's right. I yeah, she asked me. Oh, I'm talking privately. Today. He says to hop. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I basically, inch, inch. I, ba I tried to negotiate with him on the price and this is the best I could pry out of him. So I think we should just take the job. We can this definitely the handle it. You could pry out of him. Yeah, would you like to try to do better? He he offered you one thing and you accepted. Well, it's the only job he has that he needs doing that will cost cover the cost of the repairs. Look, we're beggars can't be choosers right now. We need the repairs and we need it to kind of be quick. Right? We can't stay here too long. Let's just do the job and we should be able to handle it. He thinks it's dangerous because he thinks we can't handle a weapon. We'll be fine. I think I just like, okay, I'm going to walk off. Do you have any other better ideas? Okay. Oh, you sound like you got it. Right then. Uh, and then I'll walk back over to where Hop's been, you know, saying, oh, he's so generous. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you just, yeah, no, so you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah. Yeah. When, when should love. we come to pick up the truck and cargo? Well, you're going to want to take anything off of the ship that is, uh, yeah, valuable. And, uh, maybe you want to drop that off over at the chopping bond. Yeah. Right. By the time you get back. We'll have it all set up for you. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, Just uh, again. speak to Laiga. She'll have uh, rooms and whatnot. Yeah, just tell him hogs covering it. 
Thanks. And then Much she's not going to believe you. And okay. then you're going to have to say, you know, he definitely is. And then she's going to say, can you prove that? And you're going to say no. And then you're going to have to figure something out. Can you not... Right. And I point to the data pad. Can you not let her know that we're on our way? That's a good point. You got one. A data pad? Yeah. Data pad? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Give me it. Okay. I'll hand him a clean data pad. There you go. Show that. Oh, great. I look at it. It just says, I mean it. It's real <laughs> or something stupid. <laughs> oh, geez. It's true. Okay. All of it. Uh -huh. It's it's true. All of it. Fine. <laughs> Hug. <laughs> um, oh, okay. That'll, that'll, that should do it. Great. All right. Thank you. Yeah, the chopping bond is a, is a cantina, diner, big double building thing. Straight out the front of the spaceport, straight down the main street. There's a big, like, mesa just beyond that. Big thing called the chopping bond. Can't miss it. It's usually loud. Great. Uh, thanks again. We'll be back soon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do we have anything on the ship that we need to get off? Like, I, I imagine that I've got... Grab my shit. Yeah, my, like, lightsaber and all that stuff is in a backpack, I guess, or a pack, and I have that with me. But is there anything else that we need? All the holocrons are, like, the, the we have them. Parts. We have that. Um, droid parts are still on the ship. I'm we should probably put either. those in a container yeah. and bring them with us. Yeah, for sure. All right. Just to get them out of their way. Not that they're going right, to steal right. them, but, yeah. Um... Economy. Is there anything uh, else? I don't know what else. I don't know how I'm going to fit that in my stuff. A backpack and things, but I will. Oh, can we? Um, and the blasters things. as well. Like we have some imperial weapons, don't we? We definitely want to hide those. Okay. Or... Uh, a hidden compartment. Um. I'm just going to say that we put all that stuff in a crate, Brad, if you're okay with that. And we just like wheel that crate out. Yeah. Like, like yeah. a luggage or something. Yeah. So, but we, we grab all of those valuables and stuff. What is the encumbrance of two holocrons and some Jedi shit? No one knows. Uh, I have the, I have the holocrons on me still. Both of them okay. or just the one? I have all of them. Three. I went back to the hands, right? apartment to grab the old one. Uh, what? I took the one that hop. Uh, asked of me with Jedi powers, and then I have the Sith one as well. Okay. Um. All right then. Yeah. Then I just make sure that we've got all of our, you know, stuff sorted and anything else left over. Um. um I would. And then have we can probably head to the... mentioned to you at some point, probably during our travels, Dax, that um I have. Uh, made a hidden compartment in our ship um, that we could stow these um, holocrons in. I wouldn't do that, though. If they're tearing the no, ship. No, yeah, we're bringing it with us, for sure. Right. Yeah. If you want to leave, if you if there's a hidden compartment and we don't want it to look too suspicious, maybe just throw in some um, excess parts if we have them or like anything that may seem valuable at a surface like actually i'll Me like meta -wise, make i have yeah i have hidden storage on my on my character yeah, yeah. sheet which is i can just hide shit away um, yeah that are, i have it too yeah that are uh encumbrance one um so we could hide stuff um, probably at least one of them somewhere where we know it won't narratively get taken because mm -hmm. it's on it's meta on my sheet that it wouldn't get taken. Um, oh, okay. So we could ha hide at least would. one of them. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be on the ship right now, but yeah. just so we know in the future that later, we do have yeah, a sure. hidden storage that I haven't. I used think yet. that that also works on your armor too, or your your person hidden. Storage. Right. Yeah. 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 I um I don't know if I will be carrying oh. hidden things on me. I will probably keep Fair. it either on the ship or things like that, or in the droid or things like that. I don't know if I would keep things on me. I'm probably used to 
or trained to get roughed up, and I don't want things to fall out of my robes or whatever. So, fair. Um, anyway, that's just me breaking the uh, immersion for a second. Talk about my character. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, yeah, I, I thank um, and I move to thank Hog Hog's Meat, Hog Teas, and I um, begin to. Um, move toward uh, where uh, a couple of uh, questions about notes here we have what is his brother's name um log larg l-a-r-g yes uh and, and the other town as well uh, and the other town and this one just so I can start writing the notes about these things it's, it's written in our how oh, is it in our chat that's oh, nice. called Crydon, I believe the town we're in. Sorry, my cat got stuck on the cat tree. <laughs> he's just, oh. I just look over and he's literally, he's got his claws stuck in the cat tree and he's just like looking at me like waiting Help. patiently for me uh, to notice. Whenever, whenever you're ready. Whenever, whenever you're you, yeah, seen. like I, I, <laughs> I could use some help here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Sweet. All right, I've got all the notes. Perfect. Thank you. Um... Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was just copy down. Yeah, I think you guys head out, and um, the space port is um, a pretty large um, part of Crydon. It is uh, uh, surrounded by these the the largest points in the city that aren't natural occurring mountains or mesas. There are these spires that come up around it, um, and at you realize that you're kind of in the center of a city here um following the directions that um hog gave you you um start heading towards the um the cantina the diner and the uh the boarding uh rooms the streets here are interesting they're they're quite smooth gray stone against the the reds um and they sort of gleam in that sunlight um they're quite wide. There's enough room for several speeders to pass each other comfortably. Um, the buildings here are a mixture of stone and metal. Some of them have colorful banners and flags hanging from them. They're quite tall and narrow um, with multiple levels with balconies that overlook the street. You can see many people, um, for the most part, Twi'leks looking out, hanging out. Um, several of the buildings are very brightly painted. Um, <clears throat> several others have got all of these carvings on them, mosaics and things like that. Um, the street is quite busy when you first leave, um, a relatively constant stream of traffic and speeders and bikes um, zipping back and forth, um, pedestrians walking along the sidewalks that you have to kind of move in and out. Some of them like carrying baskets of fruit and other goods and things like they're heading towards a market where it, and there's others that are holding data pads and briefcases dressed a little more formally, um, presumably heading to some place of business of, or work. Um, as you get out um, from the kind of center in the hustle and bustle of the spaceport area, um, it becomes a little bit more sort of suburban. There are Twilight children playing games. Um, dodging in and out of the traffic with remarkable agility. The air is kind of filled with chatter and laughter and it seems very peaceful here and quite relaxed considering um, maybe what you might have heard of Ryloth or what you might be expecting, but definitely in comparison to the stress of the last couple of days and even the stress that you had kind of being on um Umbara for a while. Um, yeah. Uh, every now and then there are these like uh, colorful notes of horns being played um, and eventually you come to the uh, the chopping bond there's this um, structure that is quite large the um, the first and uh, most obvious entrance to the the first building quite a flat um, circular looking building attached to a second one with several stories um, one side is clearly a cantina, like a bar. The other side has a diner on the ground floor and what looks like rooms to rent, kind of motel style. Um, not necessarily uh, high class at all, anything here, but it doesn't look um, 
seedy necessarily either. Um, immediately it's lively as soon as you get close to this place. Um, as with most of the cantinas in the galaxy, it's a gathering place for all sorts of different beings. Um, again, because you're on Ryloth and you're in a somewhat kind of rural area, the, the majority of the people in here are Twi'leks as you kind of head inside and um, but you do notice that there's a, a few sort of people that are probably tra travelers uh, in here as well. Uh, you kind of see the um, um, the interesting uh, um, look of why did that stop? Uh, uh, of uh, Wookies. There's a group of Wookies on one side as soon as you enter, and across from them, diagonally across from the entrance, there is. Uh, another group of reptilian uh, Trandoshans and there's just an immediate tension as you walk into the between them they're shooting each other these looks um, the Wookiees are wearing um, uh, vests like dark looking um, dark brown vests and, and black vests they almost look like uh, a biker gang um, there were some speeders out the front um, the Trandoshans for sure uh, seem like they're probably travelers that they've probably recently done what you've done um, uh, pulled their ship down into the uh, the spaceport and then made their way over here while they look for somewhere to kind of uh, relax and wait um, the um, cantina itself as you step in is is actually quite dimly lit even though the sun is very bright here pretty much constantly um, there's a central bar where all the patrons are ordering drinks and snacks. The walls are adorned with holographic images of all of these um, presumably Twi'lek famous musicians or celebrities. There is a band, there's like a live band playing sort of lively native sounding music on a small stage in the corner. Um, and the atmosphere is quite energetic. Um, there are patrons laughing and shouting and, and engaging in all sorts of revelry. Um, and uh, I think you can quite, you can see Im immediately that in the back of the area, there are gambling tables where patrons can play various games of chance. Currently there are no patrons using the tables. It is closed. You cannot RP any gambling today. There are several private rooms available for rent. Holy shit. In this place. Um, uh, and you can, you can see that there are like private areas and booths at the back um, for whatever r reason you might want to conduct discreet business or uh, have a private area. Um, like gambling. Like gambling. Adjoined, um, and you can see that there are several doorways. Which we're not doing today. There are several doorways that <laughs> you can go through to another separate building, which uh, is clearly like a, an area that is a kind of um, uh, an office or a... Um, a reception for a, a motel style area and then just beyond that uh, is the diner which is serving uh, local styled breakfast and dinner but they're at set times so it only opens for breakfast and it opens for dinner um, and uh, yeah you're looking for a woman he said Laega uh, L apostrophe E G A is who you were sent here to find um, I mean, all of the staff working are Twi'leks, so it could be any of them. L E G apostrophe A. L apostrophe E G A. Um. Did by the time we were done loading stuff off of the ship, mm -hmm. um, is Dax fully gone, or are you still with us? No, I was just waiting outside. Ah, uh, okay. I'm okay. with you in the. In the chopping bond right okay now. okay i uh, just wanted to make sure so i didn't have to call you uh, or anything. is okay. there someone behind the bar sorry did you say yeah there's there's yeah. like four or five people that are clearly working here um uh all of them twi'leks well, okay. we'll probably start with the bar yeah okay. All right, go on. You, you know, you're the one with the data pad that says, "Okay." I mean it. It's true, all of it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
um, then yeah, I will, I will absolutely head over. Um, okay. Uh, there is a green skinned Twi'lek, a yellow skinned Twi'lek, and two red skinned Twi'leks. One of the red skinned Twi'leks is male, the rest of the Twi'leks are female. Which one would you like to speak to? Uh, Ooh, what a fun puzzle. Uh, uh yes. Well, what a one of the and ladies. Fun puzzle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it a dangerous and fun puzzle? Can't I just it say I'm looking dangerous. for Okay. Um <clears throat> to me to me. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> the introvert. I'll, I'll 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 ask the green lady. One of the one of the ladies. Yeah. <clears throat> um mm -hmm. what do you uh do? She is okay. Think busy bar. You know when you're trying uh -huh. to get the attention of anyone? Yep. Can't do it. That's what's happening. Yep. They're walking past you constantly. <laughs> okay. Can I can I make a roll or something? You know what you can do? To try to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can tell yes. me what your presence okay. is, first of all. It's... Four. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Um... How about a... Yes, how about a cool roll? Okay. That makes, that makes maybe... That maybe makes sense. We'll go with cool. Um, and we'll make the difficulty... It's always it's always difficult to get their attention. This is a three because it's a bar. It's, that's about as hard as it feels to get attention in a busy bar. It's good that we don't have their attention. Ah, triumph! You walk I can up. I've done that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> I think what happens is you walk up, and you you do the thing where you're like looking to get their attention. Um, mm -hmm. The um, green Twi'lek turns to you, but she's got uh, two two glasses um, in each hand, and she says, "Hold on a minute!" And she goes to put them right. down. A very short Twi'lek, the the red-skinned Twi'lek, um, who of all of the Twi'leks here, that Twi'leks are quite um, quite tall and quite lithe in general. Some of them, I mean, they're very similar to humans. They just have leku, those kind of fleshy appendages off the top of their head. Um, uh, this. Um, uh, you you the you see this Twi'lek turn her head to you, and she catches your eye for a second. There's just an immediate and strange, sudden moment between you, as this small uh, woman, maybe in her mid thirties, maybe younger, um, turns to you. Um, she. Hi. Um, she jumps up in front of you and says, Hello, love. Hi, uh, we're just looking for a room and actually I'm looking for, what the heck was her name again? Lega. Lega. Uh, Lega. Um, Lega. Well, you're in luck. Hog sent us. That's me. She's standing Perfect. in front of you. She's, um. Look at that. She is, you get the sense that she's kind of shrewd and um, quite, uh, quite smart. She's the type of person ah, okay. who is. Um, she glances at you and knowingly, and you just yeah. get that immediate sense of smartness. She's wearing um, simple jewelry in her leku, um, a loose kind of white tunic with flared pants, kind of almost pirate style, um, and uh, she looks like Twitch.tv forward slash Leah. But a tweet. <laughs> and she's called Laega because it's Leah and Vega. Leah, yep, yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah. And as soon as you said that. Oh, son of a bitch. Um so good. She says Right, how can I help then? Uh well Um Hog sent us. Turns out we're the ones crazy enough to try that job that he's been needing doing. So he said we could get a room, it'd be on him. I asked him, how will you know? Because obviously you're pretty smart. Anybody could just come in and say that. And then he gave me this. And I showed the data pad. Yeah, I don't care. All right. Wonderful. Uh, you need a room for how long? Uh, five days, I think he said. Five days. Yep. Okay, what's five. he got you doing? I don't know. Some random job that I probably shouldn't just blabber about. If you don't know, then I probably shouldn't tell you. All right, well, if he's got you fixing people's ships, then... 
uh, I would say don't do that. All right. Why? His droids are crazy. Okay. They're insane. Wait, what? What kind of crazy? They don't give a fuck. They don't give a flying shit about anyone. If you're not made of metal, they're welding. They're welding all around you. Sparks, fire, everything. Nightmare. So, are you saying if we hypothetically had ship issues, we shouldn't maybe have him repair them? Oh no, his droids can repair all right. But okay. if he's got you doing that as a bit of day work, it is so dangerous. Let me tell you. Right. And and that's coming from someone who owns a Bacta tank. Okay? Yeah, I see that. And I can make yeah. a nice pretty penny off of people who go over there and work for him, get all burnt mm -hmm. up and have to spend the night in the Bacta. But right. I'm just warning you right now because I'm friendly. All right? Yeah, I, I see that. I appreciate I'm a friendly that, person. Yeah, I see that. I'm a nice person. Mm hmm Very nice. Um question for you then all right um since you're being so generous um what do you know about and where where did he tell us he wanted us to go he wanted you to go to grelido city okay uh what do you know about grelido city shithole okay dangerous shithole um, like on a scale of one to twelve how dangerous would you say it would be for little old me for you yeah you seem like you can handle yourself Probably not Thank that you. dangerous. I can. All I mean, right, you've okay. got these minions with you and all. I mean, look at that one skulking around. And what's that one doing, hiding under his robes? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, I've seen your types we, before. If we were to, well, if we were to, say, like, you know, take a land speeder or something, are there pirates or anything about? I'm new here. New to the planet. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that what you're doing okay. for him? He's got you driving something over there, has he? Ah, oh, you're too smart for your own good, I see. Yeah, you're going to get messed up on the way over there. Marauders all over the place. Yeah, okay, if you're in a but, truck, but, at least. I mean, if you uh, ain't in a truck, maybe if you're just... Are they usually in groups? Over there and maybe if you get on some swoops, you might be able to outdo them, depending on how good they are. They're usually on over bikes and you might... Okay, okay, them. okay. This is all very valuable information. Right. Um, do they usually... Is it like, are they hunting in packs? What's going on here? Uh, packs, like yeah. There's four, um five. There's, there's packs of them. Absolute packs of them. She glances over at the Wookiees. Just packs of them on bikes. Knocking about everywhere. Oh, I see. Biker okay. packs. I get it. Great. Yeah, it's all about zipping. Grab all your stuff. Zip off. Can't catch up with them. Not unless you're on a right. faster bike. Okay. I'm, I appreciate sorry, all I, this. Oh. I couldn't help but hear you say something about back to tanks. Is that available? Yeah, well, you got some problems. Yeah. What's the matter, love? Um, I just uh, rough landing seemed to have popped a rib or something. Oh, a rib. Please, sir. All right. Uh, yeah, you can use the back tire. Fifty credits per night. All right, thank you. Oh, it's, no, 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 it's um. Fuck, what's the fucking... What, Hog's, Hog's going to take care of it. It's all on his tab, remember? Right. And right, if I yeah, have to roll okay. negotiation, I will, but... <laughs> right, he did say that, yes. Right. Fine, <clears throat> yeah, 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 okay. So what do you want? A room each? Or you all want to stay in the same room? Uh, whatever's easier for you. All right, you want sun facing or not? Uh, sun I facing mean, looks better, it, sun gets facing. hot. Oh, I see, okay. Um, You know what? That sun facing isn't that important to sleep, I think. All right, you want street side balcony or no balcony? Listen, whatever you think we would enjoy. Sorry. We're not that picky. All right. Except for me, I'd like a back to tank, please. Yeah, well, and you that. you want to mm -hmm. step into the back to tank. All right, how long? As long as I can. I probably won't be resting. As long as you can. Room. Right. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll set you up with everything. You need dinner? He needs <sighs> dinner. She looks at uh, uh, Rugo again. Yeah. Pretty hard. That would be great. Thank yeah. you. All right. Well, mm -hmm. it, dinner will open up in the diner there. And since you're staying, you get one dinner and one breakfast a day. That's wonderful. Thank you. All right. Till then, uh, find a seat in here, maybe. Unless, has he got you working tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I got some extensive repairs that need repaired. Repairing. All right, follow me. 
She jumps down off of the crate that she was standing on because she's unbelievably oh. short and <laughs> waddles away like Grogu towards the uh, the exit. <laughs> um, she uh, she takes you through. She she likes she does a bunch of sign in stuff at the reception with one of the people mm-hmm. that's working in the reception. Introduces you to how you do that. They hand you a little. Um, uh, it's like a. It looks like a little data chip. It almost looks like a little Bluetooth thing. Is what we would it would look like to us, like a, a USB, yeah, like thing. a thumb drive. Um, and that's how you get into the rooms. Um, she takes you up to the rooms. You put your stuff in. You've each got an entire floor basically on the other in the motel. You're on the third floor. Two rooms, front facing. Two in the back. Um, you can put all your things in. She takes you down, tells you what time to get dinner, tells you what breakfast, what it's going to be, and um, and then uh, sends you on your way. Can this be our home planet, and we could have Leah on, and just dressed like a Twilly. Um, the funny you should say that, Leah. Join the uh, call. Imagine. Shut up. Imagine I had oh her on. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She would already have been in it. Oh, Funny you say um, the yeah. um, Behind door number one. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing probably takes like 20, 25 minutes. You, you, it's like that feeling you get when you check into a hotel on holiday and you put, you look at the rooms. It doesn't seem too bad. Um, it doesn't seem massively secure either, especially the balcony facing areas. Like it seems like anyone could just break in in the night. So I don't know who wants those two rooms, but... Um, Probably not Dax, or he won't get a wink of sleep because he'll be up at the window. Like my dog is always <laughs> assuming something's coming in to get the dog it. is also hoarding conflict. Um, 100%. And, yeah. uh... Yeah, and then uh, you guys are left um, to your own devices wherever you want, kind of at the edge okay. of this cantina as she goes and gets some, uh, some other work done. Okay. Okay, so, um, Rugo, are you gonna go? I guess I'll go for a soak for a bit. Um, I don't know when, but just, I guess, come swing by the tanks when we're ready to go, but I really need to take some time. Yeah, of course. Um, you don't mind if uh, I leave my stuff here, do you? No, no. Right, then I just sort of unload the chassis, or not the chassis, but the innards of uh, the droid, and then also my backpack, uh, and I leave my uh, saber staff here as well. Um, and then yeah. most of my robes as well. So back to tanks. Um, back to tanks for those of you who are watching and uh, listening. Uh, are those things in Star Wars? The Wolverine that, soaks in. The Wolverine soaks in. The yep. Goku soaks in during the Freezer Saga. Yep. It's the thing that has a. You have a, um, a, a breathe. Um, like what are they called? Those scuba bane mask. Yeah. A bane Sorry. mask. Uh, that yeah. allows you to breathe, <laughs> and then you're Bane soaking mask. in. Um, some of them are vertical, some of them are um, ones that you lay in. This one is um, is this one looks old. Um, it doesn't cool. look uh, like it doesn't work. Like the glass is stained. It no, it's big. Okay. Um, it's not like a sleek looking new back to tank in nice, right. you know, like cool looking glass. It's right. like a big chunky machine like an iron lung um cool. with with bits of glass um horizontally across the top of it it's you more can like s- a it's like a pool pump house it, <laughs> it, actually it, a, it a, looks okay. a little like that yeah. it's kind of intimidating okay. at first <laughs> right. um Terrifying. you're taking in somebody shows you like kind of the basics of how it works um and uh i don't know if i've ever been in a back to tank before but i I think i know what it's supposed to do so like this is like his first experience of being like yeah just hop in and i'm like what yeah that, what i mean they the then yeah, the, the, the person who's there's a twi'lek there who's um helping with it like yep yeah, get down to your pants you know you're yeah. gonna be putting this on you're gonna breathe you're gonna probably fall asleep in there you're gonna be fine it's gonna feel like you're underwater partially but it's also gonna be comfortable yeah. um it's a bit sensory deprivation-y um but it can be relaxing and um you just need to spend time in it um and um yeah they like hook you up they set the things going they punch a bunch of numbers into the machine um and then you have to put on this mask and lower yourself in um and this feels like if you if you've ever been in a water park as you're going into one of those 
plume yep. things as they kind of get you in uh, into the back to tank and lay you down in this um, thing. Mechanically, um, what this is going to do for you, um, the uh, every two hours you will heal one wound. Um, but you're in here to try and get the crit removed, yeah, I, I think. To, try to, yeah, and that's a 24-hour thing, so I don't even know if I... you got to be in it for can, 24 oh. hours. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it tonight, but I think Rugo may not know that, so he's just going to utilize and uh, really hike up that credit card that isn't ours. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, when, uh, when this job is done... Um, presumably today's session right. we will probably do a a time skip of a few days because i think first yeah, I of all you guys need to do just some downtime because it's been very go 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 and the stress uh -huh. and everything's mm -hmm. freaking you out uh -huh. um, and uh, also it gives you a chance to uh, truly recover some of these wounds and um uh, and also, the ship does need time to be. You, that thing is really banged up. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we, we need to, to which is great because it's like it forces us to have this downtime. Right. Um, so cool. during that downtime, we're going to assume that you spend at least 24 hours in this tank. Sure. What would happen, and what we'll end up doing, either between sessions or right at the beginning of the next one or something, is have you roll these checks. So uh, let's. This is how it works. Every 24-hour period you can attempt a resilience check. Uh, the difficulty is equal to the crit severity rating, which for you I think was a three or a four. Um, on a success, you remove, you recover the crit and are no longer affected. And you have two actually, right? Am I crazy? Um, one of them, I think, uh, resolved itself. Right, yeah, you have the uh, at the brink, which was the hard difficulty of three, and one of the other ones, yeah, what is it? which was easy. Uh, slightly dazed. So that slightly one dazed. is a heal for, of two. Um, I have one setback to skills until the end of the encounter, and that was like a while ago. So I think it's just... The crit remains on you even if the effect doesn't continue. Oh! Does this happen when we start a new encounter too? It is there forever until you get rid of it. So every encounter... Every Ooh. when you take okay. a cri when you take critical damage of any is uh, if you mm -hmm. roll on the crit table you keep the crit forever, and mm -hmm. it affects the if you take another crit after that it 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 raises the chances of your roll being higher. Yep. So you roll on a, it. you roll on a. So D100 this one is an active, but it's still a, a, a tick on the chances of getting worse yeah some of them are just yeah, take so. one strain which you could immediately right heal but the, the round tick after. stays there and you want to clear the that scar pretty remains much. but the any yeah. statuses might not some of them do just cool. stay forever yeah. um got it so that's how that wanna, works so i have and an active you, scar and more crits you are true this is why i say yeah. it's it's not particularly easy to just outright die in this campaign but this is how you start to get dangerously yeah, close yeah you accrue yeah. crits and the more severe crits you get when you eventually roll on this the 100 table if you roll a 151 because you have the pluses from previous crits i like this so much that's it's when so you cool. die yeah this um, is super cool it gives you it gives you like reason and like not reason but it gives it lets the player like have context that they're not doing great like right. death is maybe coming be careful here's a here's a really fun yeah. one if you roll 141 to 150 it is called the end is nigh and the target will die after the last initiative slot during the next round is Whoa. another way you die in Jeez. this. Whoa. There's so you gruesome have to, you injury, have to bleeding moments. out, not senseless. They all get really bad um, later cool. on. So, the, But you well, can't get to anything over 101 without previously having a few crits already. So that's kind of right. how that works. If Ruko um, dies, I'm making a Wookiee. That's, what I'm, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, okay. So these... Um, yeah, these uh, um, uh, crits need to be cleared eventually um okay but i think yeah, so for I now think you are you're just in the back i'm getting time. acclimated i think i don't know if it's like it i'm would, gonna it mechanically would be, benefit from it it would it would be beginning to repair the you're wound right. we've said that you have like a cracked rib or a broken rib yeah here, so you'd feel like the beginning or right. some small I, i've had a broken rib before and it sucks because um, um, every breath hurts and it just it's yeah. horrendous 
uh, constant for about six months and anything that would have taken away any one percent of that I would have known. Oh, yeah. okay, so I think cool. that's yeah. what you'll probably have All right. after like an yeah. hour or two in this. I do have seven wounds that I need to that I need to cure anyway, so this does still work. Like, yeah, let's say you, let's remove one of so, those then, and we'll say that okay. you're in there for two hours. During that yeah, two I'll hours, be, I'll hang out here until the gang wants to leave, and they can come pick me up. Right. Yeah. There's there's about two hours that pass. Um, what are the other three doing in that time? Do you think just relaxing in that bar? What are you doing? Um, that is a good question. Hop is definitely in the corner. Maybe um, he definitely got a drink on the tab, and he's just kind of doing what he did over at Jarlene's, just hanging out back to the wall, surveilling the entire bar, kind of eyeing between the um the two seemingly warring races as they shoot each other uh, dirty looks and uh, I am going to take the opportunity to use um, what do you call it? A stem pack because I am at seven so I want to do that that'll put me to four wounds okay um, and it, I think he does that under the ta yeah. under the table too so no one can really see it And for, I'm going to be um, doing PB's worst nightmare, um, which is like, but not Nuata's, <laughs> mingling, no, <laughs> mingling, um, and kind of like casually gathering as much information as she can about like safe routes or just anything related to the job that they're about to take. Okay. So if you want, I can roll Sounds like, like some roll. sort of, and yeah. Um, yeah, what is that? No suggestions? Some sort of, just sort of like intel gathering. So I think, let me look. Um, either. Uh, I guess it would be the streetwise. I, I would say charm. it's either like a cunning. Yeah. Um, I'll do charm if that's okay. Um. Yeah, yeah it's I not coercion or anything like that. I'm just like having casual conversation, maybe you know, playing a little dumb and just like, I don't know, pretending to be a merchant or whatever. Yeah, charm or streetwise, I'm, I think, roll. Depending on the conversation, I think I'm pretending to be slightly different just so I can get as much information as I can. So, yeah. Uh, what's I the difficulty? Uh, it wouldn't, I don't think it would be difficult. It'd be a difficulty of one. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, two successes and two advantages. Two successes, two advantages. Um, one second. The patrons here are quite friendly and quite um, quite willing to just regale you with varying tales um as you're maneuvering around the room and talking to people eventually you start to um you start to get a uh, a picture painted of the route between here and grillido city and the um the most feared group that you're most likely to run into known as the black nova riders um Basically, cool. they're essentially totally a fine. speeder uh, biker gang um, that operate um, in uh, in and around um, several of the towns and cities that are here. Um, but most notably, they will um, try and look for uh, um, transports like bigger looking I things see. the truck that you're probably going to be in um anything okay. that, that would potentially be uh um filled with cargo they're cargo heisters um their members are various species but they're presume uh, pre predominantly twi'leks um and they're kind of um speed freaks adrenaline junkies the mad max spraying the yes okay 
times. <laughs> um, they're not... Um, they're involved in, like, every kind of illegal activity, like smuggling um, and extortion and things as well. Um, okay. They have um, a reputation for not being needlessly violent, but absolutely willing to be violent and they have okay. a reputation so, for when they get violent they can be ruthless okay. um, and you learn that the uh, leader of the Black Nova Riders is a Twi'lekt, na uh, Twi'lekt named Chris uh, and I'll write this I'm writing these all down okay great for you, Thank you. in here um, and uh, you wanted to know about roots and stuff. Um, yeah, just kind of like trying to give us some sort of advantage for the job we're about to do. Um, yeah, two successes, two advantages. There is no route that is safe, <laughs> is pretty okay. much what it comes down to. Um, you can try... The, the, any travel between the towns and villages out here is... In, inside of towns, there's almost no sign of them. But beyond the okay. limits of these towns is their home turf. Got um, it. And anything goes. Um, um, it's, so it comes down to whether you run into them or not. Right. So essentially what you're telling me is you're giving me a Mad Max experience also within Star Wars. I'm getting Fury Road, Star Wars edition. I'm going to die. That's amazing. Maybe. Yes, I've I will. Died. I will. I, I'm relaying all of this information to the rest of my party members at the table or whatever when I come back and I, I sit down. Um, am I able to um, basically, uh, if we run into them, was the stipulation? Um, am I learning anything about maybe the, the better time or anything to give us an advantage at not running into them? Not that I don't want to run into them because PB wants to run into them for sure. <laughs> but I think Nuata would be trying to find a way to avoid them or places where they might not go or I don't know, something like that. Probably. Um, roll me a D30. Okay. 21. Only another D thirty. Twenty two. Whoa! Holy shit. <laughs> uh, the only time. Oh! Oh no! That okay. you may stand any sort of chance. Mhm. Mm that anyone has ever come up with, the only people who have ever made the Kessel Run. Sorry, I mean <laughs> the 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 trip to Grillido City. Mhm. Mm made it at 2100 hours and made it there by 2200 hours i see okay all right thank you which is in 30 minutes from now oh shit okay um all right then i will relay this info to uh dax and hop i'm so sorry i should have spoken before you but dax immediately went up to his room Oh, okay. Then I relay the information to Hop. So we, if we're gonna do this, we kind of gotta go, probably. We gotta get a move on. We gotta yeah, collect yeah, yeah. the other two and I mean, meet you. Again, should probably. There's get no guarantee. But... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, you get Rugo. I'll get Dax. All right. Sounds okay. good. We'll meet um, here, the stable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Couple minutes. And, and then I will disappear. Yeah. Um, is anyone doing anything else during this downtime? Otherwise, we'll assume everyone's meeting up and everyone's in Hawaiian shirts. Oh, I yes. love it. No? I have uh, aviators, big aviators. Yeah. Hawaiian shirt. Toothpick sticking out of my mouth. Absolutely. You're in like dad wear. <laughs> <laughs> New balance uh, shoes. To us, you know, yeah. he's got like socks. really thick um, sunscreen on his nose. The sunblock. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Dax. 
Dax uh, looks like a member of My Chemical Romance right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. In his room alone. Yeah. It's he's, a phase kid. Yeah, he's listening to my... <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it would come to me, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure is La, La Ega's, um favorite band. That's a Leah oh, joke. Anyways. right, yes, I got it. Yeah, 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 it took me a moment. Mm -hmm. Um... Because I heard Liaga and I didn't know what that meant for a second. <laughs> um, okay, we're we're gonna um, fast track you then to. We're uh, fast tracking. Yep. Yeah. I okay. made this back to overlay and oh. we're fast track. <laughs> All right, that's fine. No, it's. Fine. Well, you're, we'll you can use it at the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna yeah. need it. You're gonna need it anyway. Okay. Well, great. Let me go. Uh, let's take you to the on. space. Port then so you get to the spaceport um it is um coming up to maybe it's like 15 minutes later or so it's only a short walk and you 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 gather up and get out and um head up to um the uh credon um spaceport once again um when you arrive um there is um uh, Hog is waiting for you. Standing next to him is, um, uh, you know what? It's a pit droid. Um, that <laughs> is <laughs> because that's because I'm a nice GM. Um, he nods at the pit droid and it rolls away. Uh, <laughs> and um, he sees you walking up and he he puts a few buttons and says, "Hey, there you are." All right. Um, all set? I am? Yeah. Yep. All right. Where's that data pad? Give me your data pad again. I hand it over. There you go. That's where you're headed. So you'll see the sort of general layout here. This is our city. Mm -hmm. That's where you're headed to. Once you get there, you're looking for a spaceport that looks like a basically a ship version of mine. Imagine you see the okay. beauty and what mine looks like. It's absolutely Impeccable. pristine and perfect. Yep. The whole thing is awful. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely yep. beautiful. It's going to look Stunning. like a trashy version of that. That's my brother's okay. space, Paul. And when you're Got looking it. for him, he's like an ugly version of me. And this Got guy it. is a grand, but even amongst grand, he's clearly extremely ugly. He's covered in warts and he stinks. Um, he... Um, points um and and spends a couple of minutes just explaining um the possible routes that you can go showing you on the data pad different routes that people have taken that have been successful the quickest the oh, slowest nice. okay should you run into any sort of uh um uh, groups gangs there are um areas where sometimes uh, raiders will set up nests and they'll fire on you with um long range high caliber weapons not quite disintegration level but like big things that are gonna try and shoot okay. out the um, repulses or the engine um on the uh on the truck um alternatively you might run into biker gangs uh that will um catch up with you quickly in the speeder bikes that's why they're on speeder bikes they may um fire upon you they may try and board the truck they might try and all sorts of things they've they've tried uh, uh pulse weapons emps um everything you can imagine nets anything that could possibly be used jumping on top of it and just welding uh you know their way through mm -hmm. um to try and get to the cargo um alternatively um uh, the only other things that are out there are very dangerous creatures. There are uh, big spider-like um, um, animals that are on this uh, planet that are big enough that they could rush uh, moving things like trucks. It's rare but not impossible that one of these might rush the truck, hit the truck, and it could uh, upend you. Um, essentially, if you run into one of those, he's pretty sure you're dead. So don't worry about okay. anything. Um Great. He explains that he wants you to take the uh, the cargo, which has been low. Just take the truck to the guy, and that's it. Um, and then have Log okay. arrange for some way for you to travel back. Um, the truck and the uh, the huge, and he would probably show you these. Um, there are two huge crates, um, not too dissimilar to the ones that you had on Umbara that had all the Jedi stuff in, um, held in place in the back of this truck. 
Um, and then he shows you the truck itself. So a speeder truck is kind of an interesting looking thing. Um, I'll show you some artwork of it and I'll show the stream as well. Uh, it looks like <gasps> this pretty much. Um, and this thing has stats. Uh, oh my so, God. Uh, yes. Should be able to just give you access to the A dash a5 speeder truck um uh and then you should be able to use this like you do with your ship um okay can we are we able to put it in our like do we want to put it on our own sheet like we do the ship the vehicle sheet so here's what we're going to do with this one because it's temporary okay. um yeah if you scroll down, I might actually be able to show. I don't see anything. On there. There's, there's nothing on, honestly. Oh, okay. It's just hold blank. on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You need to be able to edit it. That's why. Uh, you have access. Now it's loading something. Yeah, I see it. Uh, maybe close the sheet and reload the sheet. Yeah, yeah I see it now. Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll show via the stream, but you guys will just have to listen. And I'm going to do my best to show you on the stream, even though it's kind of squishing it all up. Um, so uh, on the vehicle, you have to make sure you clicked on vehicle sheet at the top. Uh, scroll down. Um, you should have the stats or not. Hold on. Planetary. Didn't do it. Planetary ship. Hmm. Okay, I don't see any stats on this, but that's probably because uh, that computer, that, that Roll20 isn't a person. On your stuff, do you have... Um, oh, no, it's under Starship. Uh, silhouette, hold trauma, and system strain on there. Do you see? Silhouette 3, speed 1, hold trauma, 10, system strain 8. No. Make sure you're looking at Starship. Yeah. No, I don't uh, see yeah. that on there. I don't see it either. Whoa. All right. Um, I can add it. Yeah. And do we want Starship or Planetary? Um, you want... Planetary. You want... Whatever. Planetary. You should have it. Okay, it should be filled. Silhouette? That's the thing that I don't understand. So it should be filled out. And if well, we're, we're going to find out right now. What's the silhouette? It's working now. I click. I clicked the different tabs. I clicked bio and info, and then I yeah, clicked back. Close and it and open it again. I think. I refresh. Working. So maybe that did it. Yeah, refresh or something. I think roll twenty. Just One needs speed, a little... three silhouette, ten hull trauma, eight system strain, no shields. Yeah, there you go. No yeah. handling. Perfect. There's no no difference. No handling. No. It. This is a. Trap. I have none of it, but I'm gonna put it in. <clears throat> One more time, um, silhouette. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch it. Make sure it, you're clicking it, on right. Starship, and yeah, don't don't add anything. Oh, it's Starship. Gonna... It's, yeah, I see it now. I just closed it and reopened it for a third time, and it worked. Yeah, I spammed this last week, so that's why it's a starship. It doesn't matter. It's exactly the same. Um, okay. So name, AA5 Heavy Speeder Truck, uh, manufactured by Trust. Uh, it's a silhouette of three. Its speed is one. Um, its hold trauma is 10. Its system strain is eight. But the bit that matters to you is crew roles. If you scroll down, you'll see pilot, co-pilot, co-pilot. There is literally two spots for two co-pilots and an area for a main pilot. Um, and there are two weapons on this thing. On the top of this thing um, are two light blaster cannons um, that, that can spin all the way around. They're controlled like a submarine from down in the truck, um, but they are... Um, uh, light blaster cannons on the top the way that this works is you have to just type your character name into the thing that you are and it will pull from your sheet cool. so just write your name in there the same way that it's written on your character sheet um and that's how this all works it's really smart in where in the character name section depending on Rural. the role you're taking so this is going to yeah, be the oh, cool. section thing. yeah yeah you scroll down crew rolls and weapon um so whenever you're this is really oh wow okay I see. this is how you can have either way you can either fill it out on your this sheet cool. or you can do it on this but yeah. if you just this way you can constantly be 
adding you guys are free to do what you want with this sheet if you're like in the middle of it and you'd rather you know if dax is no, like someone take the no, thing i'm getting on the guns you can switch the names out that way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And it, um, it, so that's it, how it's it going to work so just make sure you're doing that um as you go pretty cool hey. and uh yeah, I think at that, uh, after explaining to you a route, showing you over the, the way to go, and I'm not going to really um, mechanically make you do anything for the route. We're just going to assume once you okay. start going, you're going. Um, mm -hmm. And beyond that, um, everything becomes checks from within this truck. Or if you get out of it, you know, everything will return to normal. Um and yeah, this thing is a big, uh, a big looking, um, a chunky armored, um, speeder truck. It doesn't have wheels. It's another one of these, um, you know, repulsor lift floating device hovering, um, trucks, but it's, uh, this, if you, it, it's the Star Wars equivalent of one of those armored trucks that they take to the bank um yeah. except this is maybe an older military issue looking thing um it's the guns on this thing are the same they're technically the same type of gun but they're both different um they've been hacked off of a starship maybe and attached to this thing um and it looks like it's taken a beating in the past um there are several areas on this ship on this uh, truck that have been um replaced and uh it's not the first run it's made yeah it it it's seen better days um but it still looks sturdy and um all of the armor seems to be in place um and it can probably take a decent beating before you know completely falling apart unless it comes under fire from like a you know an insane weapon of any kind um or like a gay sounds good well, um, I mean, like, if it comes under fire from... Like a like cannon a, or something. Yeah, like a, a, a starship. Um, so who's doing what, then? Who's getting in which... I can maybe guess, but who's sitting where in this thing? There's actually a lot of space in here, um, relatively speaking. There are two seats up front... Um, with uh, a third that is set back and to one side with a bunch of navigational options um a second there's a co-pilot seat that is also has a similar set of navigational options and um all of the extra things that come with the um the uh, uh the actions that you can do in ships and uh, speeders and stuff that you uh all learned on that um on that day like all of the um scan the enemy and slice enemy systems yeah. and computer arrays right. and things um I'm and then there are that... seats for the weapons and then there's actually mm -hmm. just passenger seats like or like troop transport looking seats that you'd be able to hook into um but who's doing what um i'm assuming that uh you know manning one of the weapons uses the gunnery or is that limited to like a spaceship uh, the drop down lets you use gunnery or heavy okay. range. Okay, perfect. Cool. Uh, then I will take a, a gunnery seat. I put hop. sitting in a passenger seat until told otherwise. Well, what Hop does is that highly dependent on what Dax does. Uh, I think Dax is. Um, I think he's sitting down. In just a passenger seat, and he's sort of eyeing the. Can we see the crates from here? Yeah, they are hooked in right at the back of this thing. There are rear doors that open, and there is a side bay door that opens that's on the opposite side from where the two weapons seats are. Uh, then there are passenger seats either side of that, um, and then at the front there is a. Th uh, a seat. If you've seen the episode of The Mandalorian that had Bill Burr in it, when the two of them. Right were in the yeah. it looks like the front of that um that you'd be sitting in the opposite end of where the crates are but it's an open space right yeah pretty is open, there a yeah. barrier between no okay so yeah i'd be i'd be sitting in a passenger seat not uh just sort of idly sort of glancing around Max, are you not gonna pilot 
Hmm? We need you to drive. Okay. Right? And I'll go and sit in the pylons. Okay. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you drive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Hop goes up to Nuada. I know you love shooting things with the big gun and all, but I think maybe you should take co-pilot. I'm not good at that. And this is a job. Dax can definitely be professional. This is how I'll we get our sure. ship fixed. Hop, can yeah, you drive absolutely. for it to start at least? Can I you drive just, to start? Hop. Or oh. you. I mean, anyone. I... I'll, and I sort I'm, of like look over towards no one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. With I mean, the kid's great oh driver. Up, I hop up and I go and I sit next to Dax. Um, and can can hop co-pilot with you? This is gonna be a problem. No, I don't care. I didn't think Let's so. Just get this done. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I would co-pilot with you, but I'm better behind the weapon now. I think. I don't know what I'm doing a little bit. I s start up the... Cool, awesome. And I hop over. You're up. Uh -huh. I say to hop. All right. Pat him on the shoulder. And then I get in the gunnery seat. Thanks. Thank you. And hop uh, sits in the co-pilot seat. <clears throat> Grant, how many... Uh, mechanically... Mm -hmm. um, how long is a turn... There isn't really uh, a fixed time in this, I don't think, like in D and D, where it's like six seconds. But I wouldn't imagine it's much different. Okay. Um, the reason I ask is that I have that ability that I can push vehicles faster than they're rated to go. Um, and I. Oh, don't know. I see. Yeah, yeah, right. It's for three rounds based on my uh, uh cunning. Okay. Yeah, that's um, still applicable. Holy shit, yeah. So, uh, if I, I... I would know, like... Actually, I probably wouldn't know how long we're driving for. So, I guess I uh, wouldn't do it. You you would, because I would show you the route. The, yeah, the trip um, is an hour. Yeah. It's an hour long trip in this yeah. thing. Okay, yes. So I I would I would an hour push long it. At, at speed one. I would push it to speed two as much as I could. Right. Uh, I believe. Let me double check here. Um, I think it might take a strain every time I do it. So maybe uh, you... there's a system. There's a check. I have to do a three difficulty piloting check. Uh, it doesn't take a strain though. Hey, you want to do that immediately? Yeah, I think I'm pushing it. Okay. Probably we'll... wait to, until we get maybe seen by somebody and we're that's trying to run, that, right? That's why I was asking. Yeah. Like, well, we can could I... we can calculate that in a second. I just want to okay. check that I've got everyone in the right seat so that we, so that I know where everyone is. So that you can kill us appropriately. No, I yeah, just I, mean, I just hate um, not having all the mechanical stuff down and then yep. immediately running into, you know, those scenes in movies where the, the truck hits the bollard and it just it comes to a complete dead stop. That's how my brain feels once I begin a scene. <laughs> and then immediately we have to do something on a current right, machine. When you hit live, yeah. yeah. Um, I put my <coughs> name on. I see Hop's name in there as well. Yeah, I just so just make sure you're filling... Your positions in. I didn't. I, I don't. I don't think I know where Rugo is. Is he just sitting somewhere? Uh, I'm in the passenger seat. seat, but we have a we have an open. Um, we have a. The cannon, right? right, the right I'm, not, I'm not doing the cannon. Excuse me. We have the navigation. You are you in? Are you copilot or you on the copilot or you? You want to no, be on the it weapon? Says gunnery and Go gunnery. gunnery. Yeah. Go yeah. down to weapons. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah. I just changed oh. it. Because thing. when you're okay. when you're rolling a weapon, you want to make sure you th you'll need the weapon damage. Otherwise, it's just a check. Okay. Um, Guada is our gunner. Do do I there feel it? Do I fill in anything else? No, just as long as it's the same as whatever value, it is on dice. your sheet. Okay. Right. Um. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think you leave. Uh, the. Um, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The the truck is slow and lumbering, Dax. As you um, begin to pilot this thing, um, there's a few extra buttons on here that maybe you're not as familiar with. Um, there's some. Uh, you can tell that this thing has been um, replaced and fixed. Um, there are um, parts of the, uh, I guess, dashboard or whatever it would be um, that that are kind of like worn from age. Um, like a button that you're like, oh, what the hell is this? And it's just got some writing above it that is completely lost. The Orobesh isn't even visible. So you're just um, kind of stuck. But for the most part, you're able to understand it. This isn't like piloting an 18 wheeler where it's got like 18 gears or whatever they have. Um, but it is strange, I think, at first. And as you familiarize yourself, um, leaving the spaceport and um, approaching the kind of chaotic streets um, of the city center, I think it takes you a, you know, the, the, the amount of time it takes you to navigate out of the city is the amount of time it takes you to familiarize yourself with this thing to the point where you're able to truly begin to understand how to pilot it. Um, you leave um, Creedon and you're able to understand be between you and Hop um, looking at some of the um, uh, onboard navigational equipment and the data pad that I assume is just propped up somewhere like an iPad. Um, you can kind of figure out which route you're going to be taking and and ensure without any checks that you're following it um after you kind of leave you do feel like this is one of those open land i've done the the drive from california to nevada and it's weird when you get into that open land and there are those like yeah. weird mountainscapes and it's very uh um open and flat and plain and empty uh, but kind of beautiful um, the landscape around you, just nothing but the sun, even though it's late and you've, and I imagine Star Wars has also, I mean, it, they never mention it, but the uh, jet lag that you'd probably be having, um, plus the fact that it is technically around 9 p.m. of a 30 hour day um, here. Um, and you head out. Um, there isn't a clear road to follow. Um, this is that Luke in the land speeder Tatooine thing, you know, yep. um, Anakin on the, on the speeder bike as you just kind of go, you're just going from here to fucking over there somewhere. Um, and you're able to navigate it and you don't really need to make any checks for that unless something happens to your navigational equipment, but that's all circumstantial. Bum, 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 bum. Um, so let's figure out you're, you're going to try and just push this thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, let's figure out how that works then. Um, so mechanically, it costs a strain to do it, or no? It does not. It does it's not. It's just a hard difficulty check, so three difficulty uh, piloting check, and then it increases the top speed by one for a number of rounds equal to my cunning, which would be three rounds. So that's why I was asking how long a round is. Would it be even possible it, to yeah. do this during travel? Um. Yeah, it feels to me like this is a it's Noz, you know, in Fast yeah, and it's Furious. It's not long term. Um, so I don't know if this would really be applicable for long term yeah. travel as that's much fun. as it would be cool to do. I imagine this is that's what that that is. That's the equivalent of. I don't know how you, right. you just use the computer to inject Noz from Too Fast, Too Furious, two thousand and. Mm -hmm. I don't know when that was. It's actually a little time machine, and I take the Nas uh, directly out of Vin Diesel's uh, toilet. <laughs> today. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't. I think that that's just a thing that you're supposed to engage in combat to try and escape in 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 chase right. situations. Speaking right. of which, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's have. Um, I need. I need two dice rolls initially, anyway. So first of all, I need a one difficulty piloting check from you and then i need a one difficulty co-piloting check 
from um, from Hop with all the navigational stuff. Let me just double check what what that is that you're you're doing here. Um, yeah, Hop. Actually, this will be a perception check. Okay. One difficulty still. One difficulty. Perfect. Um, all right, the piloting, one success and a bunch of advantages and the perception, one success and a bunch of advantages. Uh, hop, roll me a D60. Sixty, you said. Yeah. Fifty-eight. <laughs> okay. I don't like that. I don't like that. Did I say be... fifty-eight? I meant two. Uh, Just kidding. Two. Yeah, <laughs> no, fifty-eight. Um. Just how many come after us? Could you imagine? <laughs> Holy shit, 58 dude. Of them. Fifty-eight of them. Um. No, there is 58 minutes left on your journey. When? 58 Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when? <gasps> uh, yeah, you guys leave this place. And it is, like, immediate. You guys are two yeah. minutes into the <laughs> desert. Yeah, pulls just, right. like, follows us. You are two we minutes into the desert we... when yeah. Hop, you notice that there's a bunch of things coming up on this um, display in front of you. Um, there's just a bunch of like, uh, sp speeder bikes following you. Whoever's on the gun, New Arda, uh -huh. you, have what, you have essentially a periscope kind of situation um, and you're able to see that there, there is just sand and dust kicking up behind a bunch of bikes that come uh, in a, a kind of a chevron formation behind you. Um, and... Uh, okay, well, that didn't take long. It never does. It never does. Let me go over to the combat map and bring everything in. You can get rid of your ship for now. And we will bring over your truck, which I need to add. Okay. Let me uh, set this up. So this is going to work very similarly to the way that it worked previously when you had the... Um, the uh, TIE Fires uh, chasing you. Um, now, how many did I try and balance this with? And I have a horrible feeling I didn't write it down. I'll have to remember, which is going to be hilarious for how badly you're going to get messed up. <laughs> uh, I love that. So I knew last week really I knew last week you were either going to go one of two ways. You were either going to go to Ilum or you were going to go somewhere to get your ship fixed. So I prepared this like two weeks ago, which is why I can't remember how many you're supposed to be fighting. Roll me a D. Uh, roll me a D. Uh, two plus two. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, no, no, sorry. Two. Three, oh, yeah. three it is. We're gonna have three of them chasing you here. With 58 minutes left of your travel, Gosh. they are Literally at right away. long yeah. range. And uh, we roll initiatives, and this is off of your main character sheet again. Uh, vigilance. And this is vigilance, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a. I have to reroll on mine because I had a difficulty. You're, on you're cool. Wait, which one would you uh, hold okay. on? The second one? In the combat I was at four or zero. Do no, okay. it again. Four. 
four light side and four dark side points right now is the pool. That's fun. Holy shit! Nice. nice. Um, now I, I think actually first. I can... Yeah, but I think what that means is for each extra one I can do something like make other people's initiative better. Hold on. We've got a little handout that Brad gave us. And I remember looking at it and being like, oh, this shit is important. Um, okay. Let me just... Oh my god, you are rolling zeros. I see. Okay, this one was also a zero. I thought it was screwing up, but they actually did all roll zeros. <laughs> Well, nope, you put too difficulty on all of them. Yeah, it's the maneuvers, it looks like. Oh, yeah, I can see that now. I couldn't see it. And the setback. Yeah. That explains it. Because these are... You know what? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. There they go. Wow, still did those rolls. Okay, everyone's on there. Um... Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Mm-hmm. That's... What kind of blasters do they have on that thing? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, on the front of these bikes, I'll let you know because they're going to be firing on you soon enough. You can see some forward-mounted light blasters on these speeder bikes. I'm gonna pop that out. I think that's people. Down. That's people yeah. shooting guns, right? Not on the back guns? of these. No, these are on the front of those bikes. They have forward-mounted light blasters on the front, twin-looking uh -huh. shooters that shoot. They can only shoot straight ahead of themselves. Um, all right. So the rules for you guys are um, the. The starship actions and maneuvers and the starship advantages and triumphs is a handout. If you scroll down in your journal, you'll okay. find them all. Um, and uh, yeah, that is, uh, well, that is just about it. Um, Good luck to us. Yes, the first <laughs> um, person to react will be all of you guys. This is going to go like that. It's all four player characters, then all three NPCs. Yep. Okay. So, um, what would you guys like to do? I'll 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 open fire, right? Let me sure. check. So you got to check um, range uh, on your weapons. Close. We've got. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. These are um, not. So you're not in yet. starships. There is just like red dirt and sand kicking up behind the speeder truck as it <laughs> moves through this okay. desert. Um, and behind Quesh. you, there's more being kicked up by these three things. They have to get. Um, pretty close to you, and you've got to get pretty close to them. Okay. Um, question. Uh, if we've still got, like, those rifles in our packs, can we... Are we able to use those to try to shoot the drivers? You can open the back of the truck up and fire those out, um, but I think the damage... I'll have to do a quick Google in a minute. Um, I think the damage is that same insignificant, like right. a normal blaster okay. against yeah. a vehicle or yep. a starship is like way less compared to mm -hmm. the blasters that you've got on the top of this. Um, yeah, okay, that makes that makes sense. Okay, yeah. but um, it is I won't absolutely, do that anyway because I don't want to. They're wanna... on bikes, so if you imagine you didn't have blasters on top of this thing, uh -huh. you absolutely can do that. Can do that. Um, and yeah. they are yep. exposed, so they don't have. Uh, if you, uh, they they. You can shoot people off of bikes in this, and there is like some penalty to it, but it is, it is doable should it come okay. down to it. But that would have been my question. As it stands, uh, I highly recommend using the light blaster cannons that are on this yep. thing. Yep. Oh, uh, our, what's yeah. their silhouette, Bran? Their silhouette is two. Okay. For no reason. No, I just. I don't that, know. I honestly don't know what you guys can do anymore because you've had a couple of level ups and stuff uh -huh. that you. That, so whatever you guys are doing, you I know just what I would ideally want to do, but I don't know if anybody's going to let me do it. I, I do have a, a weird mechanics question. 
real quick. Yeah. Um, shut up, would it be... Just shut your no. damn mouth. I'm so sorry <laughs> for speaking. Everyone. Never speak again, I swear to God. What happened? Did we all just cut you? <laughs> we did. Literally did everyone, one at, everyone one at a time. It was beautiful. I was watching it happen. Oh, just, just, I want to clip it. Story. Someone clip it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. Um, would it be possible for Nuwada to shoot into the ground and make it like a rougher terrain for them? Since there's not, I don't think there's much a gunnery can do in this. Ooh, I wonder um, if we could like make dust or something come up. Yeah, that's a good. That is a good shout. Yeah, mechanically, very good I don't know if it's possible. But mechanically, no, but I mean not for their really, vision. But um, I think oh, yeah, yeah, you can also definitely start getting creative players. with stuff like that, and I'm obviously a yeah. for it. So um, okay. there is a terrain thing that I'll remind myself of that um, comes into play. Dead air or sometimes. And yes, okay, what were you going to do? Oh, the reason why I was asking the silhouette is so that we know how hard it is uh, to shoot them. And it's too difficulty. Right. Because they are plus or minus one silhouette from our silhouette. And that's the same for them against you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, who's going first? I think... Oh, I can't... Yeah, you I can't shoot them. Oh, you well, can't. I can't shoot them. Yeah, because they're not. They're too far um, away. They're too far um, away. So, and hopefully they stay that way. They're at long range. They're at long range, um, and everyone is at their max speeds right now, including them, and they are coming in much quicker than you right now. <clears throat> wow, what a great question. We're stumped. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm a passenger. Uh, uh, I, you well, know I'll go I guess... first since I'm the only one that knows what they're doing. Yeah, hell yeah, do it. Um, yeah. Wow. Jeez. Um, no, I'm um, not sorry. I was just I saying was because just, you I guys was just are being trying asshole. to figure out. I knew Can, what you, I knew you mean you know what you're doing on your dick. turn, not yeah, 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 yeah. that is what I'm doing in the uh, yeah, yeah, system. But also definitely meant it the other way. That's hilarious. Yep, totally. Yep. Can I? Orcish, can I go first? Because I'm, I'm just going to do a co-piloting check. That would maybe yeah. help you. Okay. Yeah, get oh, yeah. Good Orkish. call. <clears throat> so you're about to go. Uh, <laughs> while you're about to go, your turn. I'm going. Shut your <laughs> damn mouth, Orcish. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I ex it do exists. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So I got to do my, that is... Stand. I just heard about He's it. He's still wearing the My Chemical <laughs> Romance t-shirt. That's... <laughs> Uh, Not only did you just hear about it, but you actually went. I relived it. my <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom, 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 my only parent that I've ever had my entire life. Yeah. I relived uh -huh. them yeah. dying and brutally. Then, and then everyone who hours ago, and then everybody's and everyone's like, like can, "Docs, you, why aren't are you, okay? you doing more? Are you Docs, all right, come all right, all right, all right, all right. Are you okay? We're having a great time in Barcelona right now. What are you doing? All right, so this is planetary, right? Piloting planetary show. Planetary yeah, piloting. Yeah, which one are you doing? It's an which okay, I'm a teenager. I, I'm doing co pilot. The co pilot. Co um, pilot. Which, to with the success check, each end canceled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, two okay. difficulty piloting check. And two, uh, I'm going to use the dark side point boop, because boop. I can. Have you already done it? Mm -hmm. oh, you're uh, no, I've not done it yet. Okay, cool. Um, that will upgrade the difficulty of this for you. So make sure you use an upgrade on the difficulty yep. the right hand side. That planetary. Wow. Um, four successes and one threat. Um, I mean, this is pretty easy. Uh, you're downgrading the difficulty of the next piloting check by one by four. <laughs> yep. So that's hilarious. Nice. Um, uh, I think for that, um, Hop is going to look at Dax and he's going to say, well, which button do I press? Uh, press the red one. And he presses the red one. And that happens. Oh. All right. Um,. Just seeing what I can do with threats. The music is so hype. Everything's so hype. You know what happened? Tell what? me. 
Oh, well. Suffer a system strain. Oh. Um, okay. You do all of this. Your whatever you're doing here. In fact, what is it you're doing here? Why why is it that it makes it so much easier for him to um, navigate this immediate situation and uh, whatever it is? Creates some strain on the system here, on the internal uh, wiring. I can this. take that. I noticed that they have, um, like you said, this whole control board on this um, dash of this thing is sort of all jerry rigged together, and there's bits and bobs from uh, other ships sort of tied in, and there's like, uh, you know, parts of the dash are like, uh, zip tied together and things like that with wire and all that and i notice a button and i can see underneath the dash that this button is uh wired into uh the navigation system and um uh or, sorry wired into the um computer that maintains the speed of the uh engine and uh if you press that basically what it is you press that button and it turns the uh the top speed that the computer maintains for safety off yeah so wow you've okay. done my job oh my for me yeah yeah absolutely um so the system takes a strain so make sure you add on the ship uh the, i did yeah. uh yeah and um your piloting check, which I'm assuming is right now, yeah. um, is is going to have no difficulty. So um, you still have to make the check. It's still possible to fail, um, but there are is no it? difficulties. Okay. Well, you can um, you, you can just right. roll can... zero successes here. Um, so I guess you wouldn't fail like you get failures, but you cannot be successful. Mm -hmm. All right. So I uh, let me make sure I'm cleared. All right, so I am going to use uh, the skill I talked about before. It is called full throttle, um, which will increase the vehicle's top speed by one yep. or uh, rounds equal to my cunning, which is three. Okay. All right. Easy. Um, yeah, that's what happens. This thing uh, is is kind of well, like we see like a, a side view of this as it's kind of just tearing across the the dirt, and the back just like dips for a second as as the repulsors and the thrust um, shifts in this tank, um, and then it just starts moving at and increased speed it's crazy this thing everyone in it is like moved to one side um, and it does that thing if anyone's ever seen inspector gadget where at the beginning the truck would go Whoa, bang and it you know i mean remember in old cartoons when they go boy uh -huh. and they would turn uh -huh. sideways and then they would go Wheel, and it does that off of the screen and what was it what was it, what was it goes yeah. boing, <laughs> like off of the screen um very cartoonishly oh um yeah do you want to do anything else Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I the there are some sparks that come out of the dash, and that, this is the system strain. I I notice, um, and also a little blue light next to me pops up, and I press that, and I use uh, my advantage to recover one system strain. Um, so that blue light just sort of kind of resets the system and gets rid of that strain. Then I would like to use my maneuver to increase my speed to two. Uh, okay. What was it? Was it not uh, because, already? No, oh, because just, it just increases your top speed. It doesn't put you at that speed. Okay. Yep. So he's got to so now we're at put us there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. Yes. Next player character turn. Um. Rugo and me, right? Yeah. Rugo is just sat in a passenger okay. chair right now. Yeah, um, playing a Sega <clears throat> game, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm out of batteries again. Oh, classic Sega game, game. <laughs> All right, no one goes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm trying to see if I can like. Um, you can aim. 
where yeah, you can assist yeah. on other characters. Yeah. yeah, so I think I will do... You can actually do both, I think. Or you can do double boost. Or I could do double aim. aim. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do double boost for my aim. Yeah, okay. And they are... <sighs> Long range. Yes. So I, I, I will say, Rugo, uh, I'm going to need you on this other gun, maybe. Oh, damn, there's another gun. Uh, okay. Um, uh, this is yeah, ranged, I'm... heavy, or gunnery. I don't know if anyone else has skills in that that isn't Dax. I will move I have to... gunnery. We have one more gun slot that we, that, we, that isn't unused right now. Yeah, there are two guns. Ah, there are two guns on the top there. of this thing that can. Yeah, I'll uh, fire. I'll hop in that. I will okay. go in that. Okay. Um. And what do you want to do? You can aim this thing, or you can. Uh, uh, I think I will aim it. Where do I put my character? I put it in the gun spot, which is. Yeah, and under weapons. Uh, oh, there it is. Yep, got it. Yeah, and then you write it, whatever it is. Um, so it costs you one maneuver to maneuver into that position in the truck. Yeah, and then I'll aim once. And then one aim, so you have one, one aim. Boost. Okay. And I'll aim twice since I'm already and in the you, chair. You've got the yep. double. Mm hmm Okay. Um, these guys are catching up with you guys. <laughs> um, I think I can do it. Um, I can go. Yeah. Real good. No, brave can't. and stubborn. Yeah, they they simply spend their turn catching up. I think. Um, oh yeah, they can. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm smart. I remember the rules. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, as you guys are are um getting into position and maneuvering these guys are catching up with you they're moving at um uh, uh a faster rate than you one of them comes out um to your left one comes in to your right and one of them remains at the rear of you they aren't firing weapons right now um you can see that they're wearing these these full like head rig masks they're wearing these um uh, black kind of leathers with those like Sons of Anarchy looking leather things over the top of some other leathers. Um, one of them has like a red cloak coming off of their back that's flapping in the wind. Um, uh, two of them look um, quite uh, normal human, average human sized. Um, one of them is huge. Just a, a, just a beast on the back of this thing. But all of them are dressed the same and you can't see under these masks. One of them has like a set of thick goggles. Another one has a pair of like um, it looks like a ski mask over the front of his face, but these three bikes um, uh, come in around you, and um, that is their entire turn to catch up with you. Back round to the top of the player character turns here. Um, I think I am going to... Rugo is just going to get out of the chair um, as much as like he aims and looks and sees that they're w way faster than he uh, expects. Um, he's going to just... Ah! and get out of the chair and then go open up one of the doors and sort of hang out and, and uh, um, sort of get get a better gauge of them um, and try to, um, could I, is there like a reading of intentions or something that I can do, like an insight of some sort? Um, I don't think you need to. They're definitely going to try and rob the van. I would love to roll this. I also okay, definitely would have told you everything that I learned about them on our there ride over. There is no like, doubt whatsoever. Oh, which yeah, is yeah. that but they get is... really, re they are not afraid yeah. to get hostile. They'll absolutely be brutal and ridiculous These when they kill the people. These fit the description of the Black sure Nova riders. Clear. They mm -hmm. are, they're swarming you right now. Um, oh, yeah. I know what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. but I, that's why I'm specifying yeah. that I definitely told Rugo that they He's have the reputation for being cruel if they catch you. I, so, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I have a quick... Uh, yeah, and but... Yeah, go ahead. I just had... Uh, did they move three bands closer to us? Are they close or are they, they are um, close. short? Yes. They're they close three bands. to the right. Bit, so they're, he, they're okay. here. They're very fast. Yes. They're on speed so there, is, are there like... 
if we were to open up the sliding door of this van uh, or these trucks or whatever, are they on the broad side of us or are they on the tail end of us in this um, one? Two are on, uh, yeah, are abreast of you one side. I each. would probably yep. not one want back. you to do that, actually, Rugo. I would say don't open the don't open the back of the truck. We've got the cargo to worry about. I, uh... You can do it anyway, but I would what? try to... Yeah. So I have an in, I have a what is the oh, hold on I need to look at the combat uh, breakdown. Um, so we have a maneuver, so me getting out of the chair, and then we have an action. Is it an incidental to light my lightsaber? What? <laughs> He's doing what? Uh, you want to open the back door and light ignite the lightsaber. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you, that would be one maneuver and an incidental, yeah. Rugo, what are you doing? Don't do it. Um, it's going to be a beacon for all of the Empire throughout the system. Don't open the back door. Also, uh, we, what if they shoot the cargo? That's the whole point. Just get on the guns. We can do this. Right. And then, uh, you don't have to. You don't have to shoot them if you don't want to. Remember, lightsaber is absolutely last case scenario. Oh yeah, there's that old Jedi code for telling me of all people, last case scenario. Well, clearly you need a reminder. Talk to the people back on Umbara that you left, and I'll just keep the door closed and I'll wait. Okay. Uh. <sighs> Next player character. Um, I think I should go last. Yeah, okay. I agree. Uh, uh, so then I'll go. F I'll go first then. Please. Yeah. Okay. Please. Um, I will fire the gun. Okay. Um, let me just double check this list. Um. Uh, okay. Um, so I have two boosts. What is the difficulty? Two. Two okay. difficulty. The fire, okay. Which one are you firing two. at? You know what I'll do? I'll give them Boost. I'll give them colors. Yeah, um blue. And then I wanna go to yellow. Oh wait, I wanna I wanna do this on the speeder truck, right? Uh yes, you wanna And be it's doing gonna that pull from, from the, my sheet? It should do when you hit um the dice roller. Okay. Um, and you have two boosts, not one. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, let me just double check that I don't have any crazy weird abilities or anything like that. Um, for this. Real quick. Skills, combat. Boop, 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 boop. We got a bunch of shit. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Wow. One failure. That works. You fire the uh -huh. weapon, but what happens? Um. It says ability blank. Um. Is your name exactly the same as it is on your character sheet? It is. Uh, Nuada, boost, boost, boost. Um, do you have one green, one yellow? I do. Yeah, then it's correct. I don't know where you're. Where are you seeing ability blank? Oh, I just hovered over and it says ability blank. Oh and yeah, it's, it's just blank. blank. There's a blank side. Yeah. Oh, okay, dice. okay, okay. So you okay. Can um. Uh, I think they're just too fast. I think he dodges. I think he's just wickedly fast, and this is my first time using a gun like this. Um, yeah, he just so, moves. yeah, I think he just absolutely skirts out of the way, yeah, and I, I hit the sand too, near him. I would assume. You're distracted because of Rugo. Right. Sure. Yeah, Maybe. sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have... I'm yelling um, at Rugo, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, he's just faster. Too fast. You have um, a but it does do enough. an advantage. Yeah, you have an advantage. So, I will recover a system strain. 
Can we do that? We are on full health. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, I you thought can... you caused one to do a thing. Okay. I, I recovered it already. You okay. Could, okay. Yeah. You can um, give in a that case, boost to the next I will... ally character. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I will give you a boost for your piloting, Dax. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm going to do this the same thing that I did last time. And that was two difficulty, right? You said, Brad? Two difficulty, yeah. Okay. On success, uh, three advantages. So it reduces Dax's piloting difficulty by one. And you have three advantages that you can spend. Um, uh, ooh, hold on. Advantages. Uh, three. I think. Can I do? Can I break them up, or does it have to be like one? You can break them. So up. could I do like a two and a one, for example? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the add a uh, boost die to uh, my next piloting gunnery computers or mechanics check. Uh, and then I'm going to give um, the next character a boost die. Okay. Do the same thing. That's the thing. Yeah. End of your turn? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. Whatever you're doing, have a dark side point. Uh, I don't need any rolls. I'm moving to bands away. So what happens to those boost die then? I guess they stay with me until I need Yeah, it just holds them to the end. Okay, them. cool. Awesome. It's awesome. Wow, wow. that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. I realized I can't say, wow, that's awesome anymore. Because that's what happens. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's that awesome. Was, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Well, fuck me then. Okay. Um, yeah, the van, um, these bikes, they, they try to get information around you. There is, um, some maneuvering as, as Dax takes the truck around some of the, um, uh, sort of stones, rocks, debris, and, um, desert bullshit. Um, as he moves around that stuff, it forces them to break off a little bit as well, veering off and coming back around, um, allowing Dax to, um, uh, break away. Um, from the enemies here. Um, let's see here. Um, now this changes to that. For the speeder bike. And... Dax, if you could get them all onto one side. I have an idea. Does your idea involve opening the back door? back yes. up I don't like it then it's all right I don't like a lot of your ideas I'll try thank you uh, they catch back up with you and you see um, you see uh, whoever it might be looking at the uh, actual maybe the two of you on the guns or maybe it's just new order actually yeah, it's um, on the gun. <clears throat> you see the one with the red cape um, make some gestures with their arm um, and then uh, suddenly all of the bikes start firing weapons so we're just going to do all of the attacks here as okay. they fire upon you so it is too difficulty um, I'm going to take that dark side point that I've already spent to upgrade one of these attacks um, and do I have any other bullshit here that that uh, no, nope. been a crime um, from um, not from me from stuff. But usually, not from me. 
his ways and there's all sorts of stuff going on but if not incoming attacks no all right here we go nope. yep. hold oh, on your buds first <laughs> shot uh one success one threat um this does three damage but they do generate a threat which i think for them who wants to manage the sheet uh I think what would, what would suck oh, for I'll this. do it. I can do it. Okay. What would suck for them would be if they slowed down. Okay. So I'm actually going to make this one lose speed. And this one is the one with the red cape. The gang leader here. Um, I'm just going to put that on there to try and remind myself that one is at one one speed less than the other. Then you have the red dot as the red cape guy because I would have been pissed if it was the other two. Yeah, no. What are you, what are you crazy? What are you out of your mind? <laughs> Uh, next one is firing. Another three damage. Um, this time, they, this two one accrues threats. two threats, though. Um, He's too slow. Too furious. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to let you do? An opponent may immediately perform one free maneuver. That's any one of uh, you. I'll... Yeah. Take, it, take it away with another... Speed and shit, right? I'll move a band away. Yeah. Yep. Um, um, this one, um, so the the two shots come in um, and they hit the truck. As uh, you feel the truck kind of um, uh, take these hits, um, they're striking the back of the truck. It's very heavily armored, even the doors. Um, but you can you you're hearing the damage. The truck itself is jolting and rocking. All of you moving in this thing. Um, the second shot um, hits the truck. The truck spins a little and hits a bunch of cacti that just boosh, explode, causing a load of debris um, to rush at these bikes. Again, causing two of them to swerve off. Um, the third one uh, has to slow down immediately to avoid being hit by um, just whatever this is that is happening. They're, it just looks like dust and dirt and bits. Um, at first, allowing you to just uh, peel away. Um, that one still has a move, which I'm going to use to catch up to you. But that is it. It can't fire this turn because it, that is it using its second thing. Um, well, one of them that veers off um, is able to just completely avoid all of this debris, take control and come in um, and is, is still hot on your tail. However, you guys do successfully... Um, maneuver away from the, the other two that fired upon you. Um, all right. The back of this truck <clears throat> looks pretty messed up, I think. Um, now, you have on this thing... Uh, do you have a defense rating? No. We have no shields either. Right. Um, Sounds so like you need a defender to get out there and start defending. You're at six damage. And it is the top of the round again. I just as a reminder, the four damage is actually 40 damage if it hits a person. Or the three damage right. is 30 damage if it hits a person. Yeah. Um, reminder. Oh, uh, I see what you're doing. I, I'll, I'll turn to Hop and say... Uh, I'll move one band forward and then I'll turn to hop and say take over and I do this weird sort of uh sort of flip out of the back of my chair and I land it on the periscope and I take fire because I can move from seat to seat with an incidental with one yeah. of my abilities <laughs> fucking dope alright alright and you move one, I would like one band I move one band as my maneuver, and then as my incidental, I move to the open gun, and I fire. Sick. Uh, so let yep. me put my name in there instead of Rugo. Oh, yeah, thank you. I think if you move one band, you can't fire because it needs to yeah. be close. 
<clears throat> Are you sure you want to do oh, that? Oh, if I do? Okay, then I don't move one band. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, I can't. Is it? Yeah, it's close. Okay, so I don't yeah. move a band. I use okay. my maneuver to aim and yeah, uh, so I will fire. Still, and I still have a boost like from to. new order as well. Yeah. Well, you, okay. you have two boosts technically. Yeah, from, from, well, you, you gave me, you two. gave a boost to the next piloting oh. maneuver. So that would probably oh, be you. So you uh, it says piloting gunnery or computers or mechanics. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll yeah. take two. I'm fine with that. I don't mind. I just said piloting because I thought you were going to pilot and not. Well, Murder instead, I'm going to blow one of these things up. Um, I am the blue guy since he's the only one close to us. And it's a two difficulty. And I have three boosts. Because I boosted myself. Fuck. I'm going to uh -huh. use ranged heavy. Can't find the character. I misspelled it. That's what happened to me that first week. Three and I was like, why isn't this TIE fighter shooting? You remember? And it was because I had oh, yeah. written clone in wrong. Gotcha. Clern. Uh -huh. Clern. Does it just need the first name, maybe? CT101101 Clern. Google it. 101101. Uh, I'll try it. Um, uh, yeah. It should just be the way that yep. it is written. Um, in the it works. in the jo in the journal, so the wow, holy, holy shit, hell. dude! I mean, this is just okay. That's how yeah. it's done. Explain to me everything that happens here, um, and then we'll mechanically work out all of the mechanical uh, stuff. Right. So he's got. Um, he's done. By the way, he's, he's completely destroyed. I he's dead. Okay, nice. do this insane sort of slide off the back of my chair and I slide right into the uh, periscope. I grab it. I take aim. Uh, I fire and the blast goes straight underneath his feet hitting the engine and it just explodes in uh, a big uh, explosion of debris and fire and he... we do not see him in the smoke. Yeah. Um, so you nice got uh, four successes, which was the damage, um, and you generated one threat. So I think um, that's just another strain. Uh, mm. So take another system strain, and but then you also have a triumph. Do uh, I get to use that? That you can spend how you want. Yeah, if you look at the uh, advantage and triumph side of the sheet on the handout. Uh... So it's the... I'll the upgrade... Uh, I'll upgrade uh, Nuada's... Like, Nuada sees it blow up yeah, and I'm she's like, you. oh, yeah, yeah. okay, that's yeah, how you do it. And okay, she gets an upgrade on yeah. her yeah. next. And remember, that's an upgrade, not a boost. Um, yep. It's the equivalent of using a light side. Destiny yep. point. Okay, um, and that was the first turn. So next... Play a character. Oh, I can actually just immediately go. You can, but you can't. Is okay with that? Uh, this, this one is gone. Um, mm -hmm. You need to be at sure. close range to aim. Um, on the bike. Oh, you mean to, I need to be at close range to fire, to fire right? yeah, sorry. But yeah, I can go ahead and aim. Yeah, yeah. So I will, I will do that. Um, because I imagine without our main pilot, they're going to get close. So I'll just aim uh, for two boosts next turn and an upgrade. Okay. Um, next one, Rugo or Hop? Hop, bring them to one side if you could. You want me to hear what? Just do it. Uh, all right. Trust it me. It involves your lightsaber. I really don't think it's a good idea, Rugo. They should have it. What's up there? Um, he's not gonna do what Rugo asks. I mean, he, he thinks about it for a moment. And the worst possible scenario flashes through, like the 10 most worst possible scenarios flashes through his head and he goes, no. Where was all this on Umbara, everyone? 
when you all and did this. You mean on Umbara before anyone trusted? When everyone, <laughs> when everyone was like, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> um, and. And now we have lightsabers. Uh, I know, believe me, I want to use our lightsabers. Things? I'm dying to use our lightsabers, but I just don't think. All I am is lightsaber. So I, I can am. move and then can I give someone else a boost if I only move one band? Um, you have to move from the co-pilot seat to the pilot seat. And I know it's only- Oh, like that's right, as a maneuver. Jump, so that's one that's maneuver, right. unfortunately. That's one maneuver. So you use that one maneuver there. So you have either another maneuver or an action. You're in the pilot seat um, now. Mm, I think Hops is gonna move up one range band. And that's gonna be that. Yeah. Um, okay. What that actually does is uh, this. Um, you stay, they move. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just keep just belting forward. Um, Steer the course, yeah, and yeah. trust in the the teenagers. All right, Rugo. Uh, um, can I hold my action? I don't think there is a hold action in this system. I don't know why, but okay, I'm assuming will... that there isn't for a reason. So I don't know if that's too strong. Um, I'll, I double, will... I'll double check real quick, but yeah. Um. Uh, because of initiative, there's no holding actions. Yeah, okay. Because you pick when you go. Because you pick when um, you go. It is a little frustrating, but I also I'd think like pick that after. that's the, yeah, like there's uh, a thing. That's fine. That's fine. Um, um, you can, uh, I, I mean, wait. someone's saying I mean, that they, they spend destiny points to be able to hold an, uh, an action as a, as a homebrew, which I think is maybe fair. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I will... I think I just take my my pack off, or I go through the pack that I have, and I start. Uh, I take out a spool of uh, looks like wire, and then I start unraveling a good chunk of it. That's my turn. Yeah. Um, all right, these guys now can only actually get to here this time. Uh. Dax now on the little periscope will recognize that their nos ran out. <laughs> um, Aris did as well, I think. Uh, I think you get three turns on your nos. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we get one, one more. You get one more, yeah. They have less. Um, and I think this is all they can do. Let me just see if I can do anything. Um. Yeah, okay, they're gonna... Um. You know what, they're gonna aim at you. There, I'll, let, I'll let them aim. That makes sense. And then one of them's dead, so... I don't remember which one it was. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, top of the round, players. Uh, can I go first? Mm -hmm. Anybody have a problem with that? No. Do okay. it. Uh, then yes, I would like to fire. They gotta be. Uh, they're still out of range. Oh, we're still out of range. Jesus. Okay, I'm yeah, not gonna go first. You might, then. You I'll might have to get yep. smart. Um, yep. It's um, weird. It's what's interesting is that the fact that you can go quicker has actually. Yeah. Been really beneficial, but also I mean, completely how do we get out of combat with them? You have to escape them? to uh, extreme. extreme range. Okay. Yeah, you have to get that far ahead of them without them catching up to you. Um, and that's you escaping. Alternatively, you can figure out how to decelerate and then and then maybe check. punch it to get back up or something. Yeah, you might I wonder have to if do we can some do funky that. stuff with maneuvers mm -hmm. to, to back. Uh, go back one and then go forward one. Um, but your speed is currently what? Two? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And so with go. one maneuver you can go close to short, and then with another maneuver you can go back to one range band ahead of them. They would immediately catch up, but it's a, I don't know you you have to kind of get funky with stuff like that. I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would the, go ahead and try that. Well, I mean, it's up um, to whoever's piloting. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I just mean um, half. They're I'll slightly out of range, side. half for us to. Just slightly out of range for us to use the guns. Can you do anything yeah. about it? Just for a second. Oh, I can do something about it. Uh, I don't like it. Hold on. You have this. One second. Is it also Dax and I both get a turn? I forget which top of the round it is. Yeah. It is top mm -hmm. of the round, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Round, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, we're going to try. I mean, he got one of them. Um, it's up to you. If you're hesitating, then, then just go. And then the line goes, like it cuts for a minute, and then we move one range band uh, closer to them. You can probably feel it's very abrupt. We were going very yeah. fast. Yeah. That's we... okay. G forces hit us. Yeah. 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 All right. Then I will go ahead and go. Um... Or Dax, do you want to go first? It, and I'll matter. go right after you. Uh, I, I don't... Why don't why don't you go first? Because if you're sure. better, okay. then you might get an advantage I'll... that I can use. I will uh, take aim, and then I will fire. Um, you have four stars. Just real quick, Hop, you technically have another action or a maneuver. So uh, I want to give uh, a, a boost eye to whoever goes next. Um, are, you able that, to, right? are you able to, instead of do the boost eye, move us a range band, but after we fire? Is he able no, to break it that up would like be, that? I don't think he can, can you? Because that would be... I can't get I already went. pilot seat. Yeah. Not you. I just mean... Pilot seat's I'm... been sat in. Yeah. No, no, I, I know. Yeah, but I mean, you, can I mean, he you could do, do it? Some... He moved us back. Can he use his maneuver after we fire, or does it have to all be on his turn, is what I'm yeah, saying? it's got to be on his turn. Yeah, okay, um, he, he would have it. to okay, yeah. move you back one and then oh him... i could say yeah uh, move, move pilot seat. what just do it trust me oh all right <laughs> cool. and he does not yep uh does, does it's it weird it. narratively does but makes sense yes. mechanically so yep. that's what's <laughs> happening here yep. um okay. trace for blink <laughs> yeah, i yeah. do not Aim. All right, love. I just fire. Is All right. Uh... Woohoo! Holy shit. shit! There you go. Uh, again. I shoot the red one. <laughs> yeah. What, um... What, um... What happens? Same thing? Same thing. It's just like I hit the first one with the with the periscope, and then I just turn and shoot the other one, and the blasters up at top just just blast another one again. Explodes. Um, this time it hits the front, and uh, it just sears the front of the uh, uh, the front of the speeder bike off, and the back of the speeder bike just flips forward and smashes into the uh, sand, a big sand um, sort of wave of debris comes out. Yeah. yeah. Then you're um, jumping into the pilot seat, I assume. Then I well, jump into the pilot. Because like, with your he's two... Not, he's not... Oh, Sorry. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Uh, with your two advantages, you can perform an immediate free maneuver. So then you would still have one. So I could... You could get us out of there. Yeah, but then also you don't get to fire on the next. I will... What I'll do gotcha. uh, is I will... You can also... Move into position and I will mm -hmm. give... And I will just sort of maneuver us into a spot. I'm not going to move out of the band uh, range, but I'm going to move us into a spot that gives uh, New Order an, an assist. Okay. Um... 
you can assist me or you can add a difficulty uh, to them as well, just in case we didn't know. Um, okay, I cool. I think you should I just blow that. them up. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Um, all right, so that is one upgrade and three boosts. Please, for the love of Pete. And it's two difficulty, right? Two difficulty. Mm -hmm. So, yes. This has to be on the A oh, right. A five speeder trunk. Yep. Um, uh, okay, upgrade. Burp, 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 burp. Nice. Nice. What are these? I'll tell you what happens this time. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Nuada moves the the um, the light blaster in position, aims and fires the shot um it comes down and it strikes the nose of the um the speeder um bike it it destroys the engine the speeder bike spins wildly you see the person holding on to it that red cloak of theirs spinning around them as the bike spins mm -hmm. and comes to a complete stop um you see their boot uh stop um the the bike and they kind of awkwardly drag themselves out of the this the cloak that has whipped itself around them and they remove their mask as the truck um uh disappears into the horizon here um underneath you see uh, a twilight woman as she um looks out across the um the the desert and mesas here her face looks suspiciously like Mergle's as she uh scowls um and uh watches the truck disappear and ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the session thank you so much for watching